Do, 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 do. Hello. Woohoo. Shall we play that again? No. <laughs> Shall I, though? <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Hello, Catherine Apps. Happy birthday. Oh, I don't know what's happened now. Look at that. We've only been going like, let's have, what does it say? 42 seconds. It's usually in white. It's usually white. You're going to have to. You're gonna have to like improvise while I go in and change Okey that. Okie dokie. All right, go on then. Just do, <laughs> do <something>. I'm improvising. <laughs> evening, shaky the gent. Shaky the gents here. To the loom and backs here. Good evening. Yay! Hey, it's white again now. Look, happy birthday, Catherine. Yeah, happy fifty fourth birthday. You nearly ran out of breath then, didn't oh, you, doing that one? I've been running up and down stairs as well. Uh, oh, my God. Lisa Fiddler's finally caught a live. Does she mean a live like, vlog or a live one? <laughs> you think she lives by a frog pond and she's trying, I do. She's trying to catch tadpoles. Uh, gee, but it's uh, first vlog, first live vlog there as well. Hello. Yes. Hello. Best countdown music ever. It, it is. is. It is. I can't take it. It's not mine. I did the video, but it's... Uh, uh, oh, look, wedding guest there. So exciting. I think she's excited. Suzanne Bruschetta. I think she's exciting. I hope you're bringing some bruschetta to the wedding. <laughs> That's the only reason we've invited her, isn't it? I feel like a bit of bruschetta. Bring some gaviscon, though, because the tomato gives me art, but I get that off me granddad. What? Zoe White loves the countdown. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to have to do a new bloody countdown now, I, I know. I'm going to have to bring it up to date, because do you know when that was done? Do you know when that was done? Yes, I remember when we were on Silver done. Fox. I created that. I actually finished editing it the day that Dylan died. So yes, it was that's right. The 30th of June, wasn't yeah. it? 30th of June. 2021. Yes. Uh, 2020. 2020. Yes, because it was, uh, yeah, because I was at my dad's at the time. So I think I'll have to do a more up to date one. Uh, oh, the Bambas are here. Bambas are here. Another guests. Hello. More, more guests. All this, all the wedding guests tonight, yes. isn't it? Hello. Hello to you. Uh, all, all these, all, all these people. Uh, we've ha we've been having a nice chat for a while without you. We've noticed. We've had a look. Well, we can go again if you want. <laughs> or we could go over here. And, couldn't we? Oh, hello. And, and we could join you over here, couldn't we? <laughs> Shall we? Or do you prefer it over here? That one. Prefer it over here. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, James is doing weather forecasting tonight. Three degrees in Manchester. Or are the three degrees in Manchester? When will I see you again? There was never a long pause between see you and again like that. Are you you singing the right the right words to the wrong song, aren't you? <laughs> no, that, they did they did that song. That was that was the words to when will I see you again? But the tune was uh, I would walk five hundred miles. <laughs> <laughs> I would walk 500 miles. Uh, Suzanne says, it's so great to see you live again. Hey. Carol Barnes got the news from Orlando, Florida. Whoa. She'd retired. Yes. Oh, Carol Barnes. Oh, my God, I was just thinking that uh, as a count. As, as a, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll come back to that one when I can say it, shall we? Evening, Fox. Evening, Robin. Uh, I, I think Ian's got a train. I think he might have been talking about the... The countdown, though. I think he might have done. Oh, Alfie's on, look. Could he, shall we call him Alfred tonight? Alfred. I think that might wind him up. It might do, yeah. Is, because... his, is that his Sunday name? <laughs> That's another one coming to the wedding as That's well. That's another one coming to the wedding, And yes. Dave as well. And Dave Bamba. Uh, what not to evening, guys. Cracking intro. We made it on time tonight. Yes. Sitting with a nice glass of Prosecco. Well, you, you don't need a note. We, I've got lemonade and whiskey, and I don't know what you... It looks the same, actually. I've got, got whiskey and lemonade. Well, yeah. I mean, look at the difference. In, hang on. Look at the... Di it's it's like we're comparing urine samples, isn't it? Let's hold it up to the camera without <laughs> spilling it. So you can see mine's a nice straw colour. That's how it should be. Sean, <laughs> Sean looks a bit dehydrated, doesn't he? <laughs> you need to drink more water. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ah. Uh, evening, boys. Our Springer is sitting watching you. Our Springer's out there. But the Bambas are still here. Because st so, so, so you Sharon, went back and then... I ain't gone back. You have? Well, you can shite. I ain't gone back. I'm going down. Stop uh, swearing. I can. It's my vlog. I can swear as much as I want. I never swear. Yeah, I, well, you can go and sit downstairs and watch telly and I'll entertain myself. 
You always entertain yourself. I'll entertain myself in front of these people then. I'll get in trouble for that, aren't I? Uh, hello, James. Greetings from Florida. Hello. Uh, good evening, Bonsolva. Uh, good morning, Lady of Trillium. Uh, Rhonda Davis, I think I'm going to get RSI in this. Yes, you are. Uh, we need a, We might need a countdown every time now. I think I'm. Do you mind if I miss a vlog next week and I'll work on a new countdown? I could do. Fine, I? Yeah. I could do. They've changed it though a little bit. Now the the, the clock's in the middle. Yeah, so we, I don't like that. So I've got to try and put the clock in. No, because I've got to have it right. Yeah, you have. Really. So I've got to move the clock in the middle, and then one day they'll realise that I've nicked the tune, and they'll unmonetize all the live vlogs. Oh, that'll I'll, be a nightmare. I'll just cut it out. Mm. I can cut it out at the yeah. beginning. Uh, Sherry Hancroft hugs all. Hugs to all. No, it doesn't oh, say it that. Don't, it it's, says hugs all. It says Sherry Hancroft hugs all. She needs to write that. Hancroft. And, uh, I was going to say something funny, but it's gone on it now. Uh, Rebecca <laughs> Strong says, Evening, Colin and Sean. On my own tonight, Ken is at work. Well, you wouldn't stop interrupting me, so I couldn't get it out. And I, that's not normally something I have a problem with. Such a strop. I don't give a shit. Uh, Marie Barker, first time, love your show, from Northern Car. No. Lots of snow. Northern Car. Does she mean Carlisle? <laughs> no. I think there's a lot of snow in Carlisle. No. Uh, Judith, I thought that said flakes then. Farkas. Uh, hi, that sounds posh, doesn't it? Hi, That's Colin posh. and Sean, watching from the Rockford Files. <laughs> Good to see you both. Do you remember Rockford Files? I do, yes. I remember it. I don't remember it. I remember it. Uh, hi, amazing couple. I wonder who she's, I wonder who she's talking I about. I don't know. I bet, I bet it's them two lads on an Arab boat. It might be. Go around doing like what we do. I bet it's them. You know they'll be getting a, a, a house in Scotland soon, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I know. You know they'll be doing that. Oh, here he is. Uh, Aaron, it's birthday boy. Hey, Happy guys. Happy birthday. 46. You sing and I'll you you sing it like a ventriloquist and I'll actually mouth it without singing and see if it sounds like it. So you've got to sing it happy birthday words to the tune of happy birthday because that's what I'll be pretending. Are you ready? I'll count you in. One. No, you're singing and I'm pretending. Because okay. I can't you can sing better than me. Okay. Alright. One. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Aaron, happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Hello Mitchell, because you'll still be Hang up, on. won't you? Oh, we missed the yes man. Oh. Happy birthday, and I hope your dad's not embarrassing you too much. Yeah. Mitchell. Uh, hello. Uh, so, right, we're, we're way behind. We're going to have to do a scan forward in a minute after Suzanne. I can't wait to bring Bruschetta to the wedding. I will even make... I thought that was, I thought that said patty then. I will even make the patty. The platter, I bring it on. Oh, next Tuesday's... Oh, she's doing pottery. Right, we're going to... We're going we're gonna to go all the way down to the bottom because we don't want to fall behind... Uh, apart from that, Alfie Barlow. Alfred was going to be my name before Alfie was chosen. All right. You can call me Al. Uh, down to the bottom. Uh, Sharon, I accidentally put it on a couple of times. My fingers aren't warmed up enough. That's what he says. <laughs> Take it out. Take it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so naughty. Just one. Start with just one. So naughty. Uh, evening, guys, from Ian and Esther Lindsay. Lots of wedding guests on tonight. There is. There? And there's actually not that many people coming. There's only about a dozen people coming that we've released tickets for so far. Yeah. Right, I think we're near the bottom now. We are. Uh, Rockford Files had a great opening song. It did. I can't Says remember it, but... Walter Schwebel. That's her right name, isn't it? Schwebel. Schwebel. That sounds like Pebble. Yeah. Walter Schwebel, the Pebble. That's fantastic, is that... Uh, have you had a good Saturday? We have. We've had a chill oh, Saturday. Oh, it's, it's Stephanie with the posh name. Stephanie Victoria Pearson. Yes. Uh, we have had a good Saturday, actually. What did what have we done? Played games. Uh, I've played my computer games, and Sean's played his computer games. Yeah. Sean's hurt his foot, you know, like old people do. I've got a plaster on my big toe. I'm not showing you, mate. Well, I'll not tell you what he was doing. I was in the garden. Well, yeah. 
in my flip flops. It's still illegal. <laughs> uh, thank you for the song, lads. You're welcome, Aaron. Do you want us to do it again? No, don't. I what don't do you mean, no? I don't want to sing again. Ungrateful. What's the difference between un ungrateful and egret? <laughs> I heard somebody say egret, and I hadn't a chance to Google where it means yet. Egret. Not egret, not like Irish idiot, but egret. I don't know what it means, but it sounded like that. Uh, please, can you say hello to Sammy and Kev Pearson? No. <laughs> Do you think we should? Hello, Sammy and Kev. Hello, Sammy and Kev Pearson. From Tammy Berzaki. Oh, that's a, such a cool name. She should have been in Rockford Files. She should. Uh, what is your favourite type of whiskey and where from? Uh, it's normally from the co-op, isn't it? <laughs> what? No, it is, isn't it? It's, you, believe it or not, it's cheaper buying Scotch whiskey from the local distilleries from the co-op than it is from the distillery. It is. Around here. Yeah, you, it is. You can talk while I have a gobful. Uh, I like Glen Morangy. This is... What's this? Don, this is Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's quite nice. The cheap one, the black label. Mm. It's only 20 quid a bottle. Uh, but yeah, that's quite nice as well, isn't it? Uh, evening, gents. Hello. Uh, hope you had a good week. Uh... Yes, I'm not going to make that joke tonight. This is definitely the best part of the week. Why? Excellent. What's happening? I bet they've got cake. I bet they have. I, I bet they, we've I, had cake today. I bet they've got chocolate. We've cake. had a bun today. Yeah. Uh, good evening, Heather B. Hello. Hello, loves. That's Maggie as well. Uh, evening, handsome boys. This karaoke blokey. He must be blind. Uh, you've made my whole week again. I do like making people's whole week. Don't, you know I do, don't you? What? We get letters, don't we? We get Usually letters. Usually complaints. From mothers. <laughs> yeah. Don't, from mothers. Yeah, don't come round to our house again. You made our Ryan's whole week. <laughs> uh, Bunny and playing you up, love. They are, Michelle, yes. Yes, they are. I've got a plaster on. Uh, William Cook says, Hi, Colin and Sean. You are both looking fabulous. Thank you. Cheers. How are your wee babies? We don't have any babies. I think I mean, she means the dogs. Well, call he them dogs, the dogs then. Call them dogs then. It's like when people call them fur babies. I imagine like like a little mini Chewbacca. Do you know what I mean? You Don't look at me gormless. You know what I mean? You do it. You throw phone about when people say fur babies. <laughs> You're laughing. E Ewoks. Ewoks. They're like Ewoks, aren't they? Uh, Simon's just been listening to some Simon and Garth Uncle and then found us guys on... Hey. On... On... BBC, on YouTube. BBC Two. We're not on BBC Two. We're not on BBC Two, are we? Uh, Sandra, uh, hi. It's lovely to see you from Block Switch. Or is it Block... 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 Block Switch. In the West Midlands. Yes. She sent us a kiss. Hello. Hello. It's like Mrs. Doubtfire they used to do, wasn't it? Uh, Suzanne says, I keep meaning to call her Susanna, and I don't know why. I think she looks like a Susanna. No, she looks like a Suzanne. Who's that song off that off that song? Who's that person on that song? Do, do, do. Oh, that's Rosanna. That's not like Suzanne. That is, <laughs> it is a bit like Susanna, isn't it? I'm going to get the band to play Rosanna and change the word to Susanna. <laughs> Then it's all about her. Uh, anyway, she's saying summer. Uh, I'd love to have a Facebook group for wedding guests. No. You know what no. Facebook groups are like. You know what Facebook groups are like. You put a post. I tell you. I tell you now. You will put a post saying hello and welcome to the group, and somebody will take offence Umbridge. at it. Umbridge. I always used to think that Umbridge were near Wigan. <laughs> I actually did. I actually did, and then I found out it. What? <laughs> then, he then he found out it was near Southampton. I'm coming as an <laughs> army of one, so I'd love to get to know some of the other guests ah, right. virtually ahead of time. Oh, you will get to know them on the day. Honestly, you will. Well, because you'll all be... Uh... Yeah, because you all know each other. Yeah, because you do all know each other because you're on here. Virtually all of you actually come onto these live chats. Yeah. So... Uh, if, right, I tell you what. We'll lumber a with bambas. I tell you what. If if you come into the wedding and you want to start getting to know each other, you can put on here, and then people can contact each other if they want to. They can do. Yes. We know Suzanne is. We know Dave and and Sharon Bamber are coming. Yeah. And we know Alfie Barlow's coming. 
the famous uh, um, Alfie Barlow. Yeah, and the Lindsays are coming, I think. Yes. So if, if you are, just put a little note and you can start to get to know each other. Or we can put you in touch if you want. But just let me warn you that those of you who are coming to the wedding, if people email you and, and say, oh, I'm coming to the wedding, where is it? What day is it? And stuff like that. Yeah. Don't tell them. Do because that. Because if they're coming to the wedding... They know where it is. They, yeah, if they're coming to the wedding, they know where it is. But we've got secu we've got security. Did I tell you this last week? We've had to have security because people are ringing round venues in Scotland asking if we're getting married and what date we're getting married there. How bizarre is that? So we're having no. security. So all the guests are going to have a ticket or a, a ticket that you print out with your name and, and some stuff mm. on it that we can't say yet. And there'll be a security mm. guard on the gate because there's a, a, a long drive to the venue from, from the road. And you have to show that you have to show this thing. But yeah, yeah. that's balmy, isn't it's it? Crazy. And it's crazy. It's costing us as well because, I mean, it's costing a fortune. Mm. I mean, I've worked out that if go. I retire at 70, I've worked out that I've got enough money to live till I'm 71. carry on whining and that you probably won't even make it to that <laughs> uh tammy bazaki says polish name i'm unique that is a cool name it is honest. a cool name that, that is a cool name uh charlotte cameron says good evening a big shout out to me and smurf please smurf she thinks she's going out with a smurf is he blue well, it might be a her you don't yeah. know when people ask me about my wife i say is yes. your smurf that sure. you're going out with blue Igra is a, a hat Igra is a bird Yes, it is. So what were I confusing it with? I have no idea. Uh, we've moved on from that now. We've moved we? on from that now, yes. Uh, we're falling behind again. I think that's Christoph. ELO, I mean, ELO. I think it means hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Joanne Craven. Good evening. Jo John's daughter. Good evening to you both. Hello. Highland Park is a good tipple. Highland Park. Why am, I, why am I having to click some of these twice? Oh, the thing oh. is, if I click it twice really quick, this happens. So I've got to be careful if I do that. Now why ain't it going back? Oh, I've got to click it twice. There we go. Thank you. Here we go now. All the whiskey suggestions. Try McNean. 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 Paddywhack. Give it a bone. Uh, Glen Fittich. We nearly lived there, there, didn't we? It's is it? Uh, when can we find out what's in... Co oh, come on, we've only been on 17 minutes. <laughs> Later on. <laughs> Later on. Uh, Tina says, Hi, it's Sean and Colin having a drink with you here in Shropshire. Yay. Tina and Dave. 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 But that's not what Tina's name is on, on there. It's not... No, that's not Tina. Uh, that's not the Tina and Dave we know. Is it another Tina and Dave? Yeah. Ah, right, okay. Steve Fisher has sent a super chat. Well, hey, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Went we down to Inverness today. See, you try and you get a face pulled at you. Went down to Inverness today. Now I'm pulling another and face. And was in Harry Gow. I, I resisted stuffing my face. <laughs> in a, The dream rings are gorgeous, aren't they? They're massive. Well, finish it then. Here's something you can stuff your face with. Hey, thank you. I will send Sean to Harry Gow's on Monday because they'll be shut tomorrow. Yeah. And he can come home and I'll bury my face in his dream ring. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Have a bath first. Uh, Maggie, shout out. Thank you, boys. Our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, people talking to Alfie now. Uh I don't think she's coming to the wedding. No. no, no. Uh, Lady of the Trillium says, how are your wedding plans coming together? Uh, they're, they're, they're actually really well. Thank yeah, you. They're doing really good, thank you, they Mrs are. Trillium. Uh, evening, lovelies. After a slight mishap yesterday, I could do with a... Uh, I'm recovering after a slight mishap. I can't talk, you see. I'm recovering after a slight mishap yesterday and could do with a Colin smooch. Give her a smooch. Sending love from myself and Dave. Oh, well, I don't know. Will Dave be all right if I give you a smooch? You turn away. You don't like it when you see my tongue in other people. <laughs> Your tongue in other people. Oh. 
Uh, Charlotte Cameron. Hello, Charlotte. Hello to you and Smurf again. We've already said that, though, haven't we? We've said that. You and Smurf. But you sent a super chat, so... So you uh, get another mention. So you, so you get a mention on this camera, and you get a mention on this camera as well. Hey! <laughs> Uh, Tammy says, please can you tell Stephanie Victoria Pearson to get in the kitchen and make brews? No. Not unless she brings us some cake. I want some cake. You want some cake? I want cake now. I do fancy some cake and some chocolate. Uh, hi, lads. Roman the Cotswold says, good to see you and thanks for all your fabulous content. I shout that because then YouTube pick it up as a keyword. Does it? Yeah, because our channel is known for fabulous content. If you search some other narrowboat channels, they have different keywords which we're not going to say. Uh, I am really enjoying as I only discovered your channel recently. She's a noob. A or, newbie. Or he's a noob. That's Robin, the good. Cotswolds, welcome. Mm, hello. Uh, James Walton, Sean, happy birthday for last week. Last week? It was last month. It won't. It was February last month. No, yes. It, yeah, it was in January. <laughs> Have you been asleep? <laughs> huh? Have you been... Have you... Oh, dear me. <laughs> Thank you, anyway. <laughs> oh, God, my sister's on. What do you mean, bloody weirdos? Oh, Paul Angel's on. Unfortunately, Andrea is coming to the wedding. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you come on your own, Paul? We got told when we were organising the wedding that we have to invite people from all classes, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, to make it equal, equality, that's the word, isn't it? I didn't realise you could have two classes in one household. <laughs> I'm shutting up now. Uh, Paul Kipak says, evening. <laughs> evening. <laughs> I'm so happy you have security. So, so, so are we. Yes, yeah, so are we. So are we. Here she is. Oh, Nico's here. Flipping missed last week, don't you know it? Yeah. It were a right shit show, wasn't it, without her? Yeah, it was. It, it, just, were, it, it were rubbish without you. Fell apart after two minutes. No, it were actually the best one we ever did. <laughs> <laughs> it? it were actually the best one. Uh, Kelvin says, we're coming to the wedding, but we're not on Facebook. But don't worry, Suzanne, you can stick with us. Or oh, you'll like, you'll like Kelvin. You, you will. You'll all get on absolutely fine. Yeah. Uh... Young Heron, I'm lost now. What does that mean, James? I think we've said... Oh, Egret. Oh, we... Yes. Yeah. Sharon Bamba, we're happy to do that, Suzanne. There you go, because the Bambas are going as well. Uh, Larry from the USA. Well, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a Smurf if he's singing I'm Blue, Dabba Dee Dabba Do. Oh, yeah, I get that. <laughs> I actually thought, well, I want you to listen, go and listen to that song because it doesn't sound like Dabba Dee Dabba Do. It sounds like I'm blue, I would be off a guy. That's what it sounds like. It is, yeah. If you listen to you listen to the song, it's by Eiffel 65 and it's called Blue. And that's, that's, what, it, that's what she thinks it's singing. But I think it sounds like I'm blue, I would be off a guy. I'd like to play it, but I'll get... We'll get a copyright I'll strike. Get, I'll get into trouble for it. And by the time I've done it, Sean will have just broken everything, won't you? <laughs> I'll give it mouse and you'll all be watching Floating Our Boat or something. <laughs> by mistake. Nothing wrong with watching them. No, that's why I said Floating Our Boat <laughs> rather than any of the plastic oh, ones. Oh, yeah you, don't want to, you, yeah, you don't want to watch others. No, not the plastic cheap copy ones. No. Uh, Vans for the Memory says, Hi, everyone. I'm not a guest, but I wish I was. Can you do a... Tombs for tickets. I don't understand Tombs. that. I don't. I, I, have you got that word wrong? Do you mean? Does it mean cakes, packets of mini eggs, Freddos? You'll have, you'll have, you'll have to clarify. Clarify. Yeah, clarify. Uh, are all the fans? Esther Lindsay says, are all the Foxy fans seated together at the wedding? Yes. The peasants unite. Not on Facebook either, but happy for the Foxy. The peasants unite. The guests... But let, right. The guests that are coming, because we get... I don't know where to start with this. We're, re, we're only releasing, because it's like close friends and family are like the most, aren't they? Uh, and, and we've released a few tickets for people on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and threads and all the others. But some people kind of asked and we knew that they were like, didn't we? 
the, the wooden. Uh, so if you've if you've actually got a confirmation from us and you've got a ticket and everything, then it means we like you. It means we like you, and we think, <laughs> we think, we think you're going to be like perfect guests for the wedding. It means we like you. So that's why there's not a lot of YouTube people coming on that. But uh, but yeah, you you you're going to be you're going to be fine. You'll be fine. We are putting people from uh, YouTube so you together as well, so that you've got something in common as soon as you all meet. Yeah. Uh, so you've instantly got that connection. So we're not going to be separating you all out. You all will be uh, sat together on on a couple of tables, uh, which will be together as well. Uh, so you'll you'll be fine. I'm sure within a minute or two they'll be giggling. You'll all be mothering Alfie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you'll all be smothering him. Uh, Catherine, evening, gentlemen from Hello, Catherine. Raze. Tony suggests Val Blair whiskey. Uh, won't be at your wedding. Our anniversary is in August. We'll be away to celebrate. Well, we actually. Oh, no, nearly said so much, shouldn't then? Did you? About Bal Blair. Think, think where Bal Blair is. Yeah. He's clueless. I'm going to put the microphone on mute so that I can tell him. Yes. Right. We'll try that one again. Bal Blair. <laughs> <laughs> you get it's not it now, far from it? us that we could go get some we could go get some couldn't we we could we could do that i'll have a look in the co-op <laughs> uh sandra hughes uh, oh by the way uh have a have a lovely celebration wherever you're going as well yes uh sandra i miss harry gows i load up the cow we're, we're lucky enough to know somebody that works there yeah and gets us a discount that's why you only ever see the camera from our belly button up in it because the rest of it's resting That's why I'm on sitting like this it's resting on his knees in it Start, I'm starting on the cross trainer tomorrow yeah we've got a cross trainer which has been in the barn for about a month <laughs> we've got it. to set it up tomorrow we've got to set it up at some time haven't we uh Alice L says uh, hi guys sorry I'm late that's, no problem that's all I right. hope got a note uh Wendy says uh, hi what uh, warm warm Colin and I'm reading words before that like in the wrong order but the right words uh, hello, Colin and Sean. Warm greetings from Clackmannanshire. Wow. Uh, the Wee, Wee County. It is a Wee County, isn't it? Mm. Uh, uh, there she is. Oh, God. Andrea's here, look. Never fear. I'm here, boys. Just got back from having a curry. We are. Oh, yes, I, I saw it on Facebook that you were on the. You were at the caravan. Little Tommy there with it. Tommy! Hello, Tommy! Evening, Sean and Colin from Mark in Liverpool. Hello. hello. Uh, space cake or deep filled cream pie either to be honest pleasurable both pleasurable aren't they lots of cream around your face there's no better way <laughs> to end up is there what if you write deep filled cream pie yeah stop acting so innocent well it's you I'm just reading it yeah, and it's, no it's here we you go. read that it was the additional bits you put on what additional bits Raheem. Hello, oh. Raheem. How are you? Some donations for the wedding. Thank you. Nice to see you again, Raheem. We need to get this man on. On the live. All right. We keep meaning to do that, don't we? To get people... Because mm. we've got another camera. We can put them in there. We can. If we need to, can't we? We, can, we, that can, one. we can put you in there and talk to us. And then you can talk to us on this one. Yeah. That's, that's clever, that, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. We are too. good. Thank you, Raheem. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Sandorini, tuning in from San Francisco. Ooh, hello. I hope it's warm down there. Mm. Uh, Craig Toppin says, "Hi, Sean and Colin. Really looking forward to watching your new adventures in and the Scottish waterways. Yes, we've got plans. We have. We've got plans." Stephen Birchall says, "View from your side camera makes your room look like a spaceship." He Thank does. Thank you it. for showing us around the Croft the other day. Do you think it does? It does actually, yes. It does look a bit futuristic. I don't feel as claustrophobic on this camera as I do in this camera. It's a better camera. It is a better camera, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hello, yes, good evening. Auntie Sullivan, go on, Sean. Auntie Sullivan's here. Hello, gents, she says. Just pop it in for a moment to say hello and wish you well. Extra treats for the puppies, please. We'll give them extra treats. What are you doing then, Auntie Sullivan, if you're only popping in? Hey, tell us. Come on, spill the beans. Spill the beans. 
How's the frog, says Jennifer Sherwood. Did no you, idea. Did Gone. you let him in or tell him to hop it? <laughs> Hoop it. <laughs> Hoop it. Hoop it. Uh, we, we, we've got a, a little pond just behind Sherlock's muse. Uh, and he was very cold. I know the cold blooded anyway, but he was very cold. So I put him in the sunshine on the grass next to the pond. So I thought that's where he might, might have been looking for. I, I heard he asked a newt on he the way up newt. the road. Yeah, and two stouts. Stouts. Stouts? <laughs> stouts, that's what... Well, were, the two, were the two glasses of Guinness out probably there? Probably were two glasses of Guinness, <laughs> yeah. Uh, talking about Sherlock... Yes, yeah, Sherlock. Uh, guess what I've got up and running tonight? Really? I've got Sherlock cam up and running. Do you want to have a look at live have Sherlock? Really? Yeah, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's see if we can go to live Sherlock cam. Is he up? There we go. That is live. I can see a light down there. I can see, I can see him. If you look, uh, right, so if you don't look at the branches, look right in the back corner, and if you look right in the back corner of the muse, just to the left of the corner... You can see him blinking. He's just, he's just gone, he's just turned his head he's now. turned his head. You could see a little light, and that were one of his eyes. So I'm just actually going to turn the speaker on and then off, and he might look round. Yeah, yeah there he is. Look, there's his <laughs> eyes. There's his eyes. I wonder if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. Look, there he is. Oh, he's turned his head again. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad that worked. Yeah, That's I'm, awesome. I'm still working on that for, for Patreons and YouTube members where we're going to have uh, Sherlock live cam. Yeah. So I'm just trialling it out. Let's see if he's still there. There he is, like you can see his two eyes again. <laughs> I love that. Oh dear. Right, where are we? Uh, Nico wants to come to the wedding. It, she says, oh my God, it does, I'm blue. I would beat off a guy, that's what, that's what they actually say. Yes. Uh, I'm a close friend of, I think she's, is she drinking? Have you been drinking, Nico? Are, are you drinking? Bong water again. I think she is. Uh, right, here we go. Uh, Marie Barker. Sean, my boy is in the US Navy, submarine. Any advice? Oh, my God. I would never run submarines. Uh, from North Carolina, USA, calling th for any information on prostate checks. Uh, my husband has been checked and all good. That's brilliant. The only advice I can give is just enjoy it because it's an amazing adventure in the Royal Navy or the US Navy. You know, I was talking about people mothering Alfie. Yeah. <laughs> I would be a nervous wreck. Alfie, you, you're you, going to be fine, you mate. You are going to get so mothered. You are going to be so popular, it's untrue. You you'll will, be fine. You Even Nico it. says, look, you'll be fine. Yeah. Honestly, uh, mate, you'll be good. Tom Lacey Johnson says, I had to listen to Blue, and I can confirm it does indeed sound like I would beat off a guy. <laughs> uh, Bob says, just play Blue. Definitely says, beat off a guy. <laughs> uh, Alfie Barlow says, I was white as a ghost when I met Moore in the cut. To be fair, that's him, not you. <laughs> he, he has that effect on everybody, so, so I wouldn't worry about that. Uh... Uh, 28 Adams says, I know it's personal taste, but my stomach is turning at adding lemonade to whiskey. The, I usually drink it neat, Tony. You know I do. But I, I need it to last a little bit longer. Otherwise, I drink it too quickly on these live vlogs. Mm. You remember a couple of weeks ago when we had that minute silence in memory of <laughs> Sean's liver? Of my liver? Yeah. We don't want that again. We don't want that again. Kelvin, Alfie, you're not going to be the only one. Me and Kendall will look after you. Good. Everybody will be looking after They'll you. They'll look after him. Every, He'll every, be fine. Everybody will be, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Lady Unicorn says... Now I can enjoy... Now I can enjoy properly. Just got out of the shop. I hope you've put your clothes on. Put myself a gin. At what? She ain't, she's still naked. Look, look. She's still, she's poured herself, she's holding, in, she's naked holding a glass of gin and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Go outside into your garden <laughs> and climb up that slide that the kids have got in your neighbours. <laughs> 
while you've got no on. And when you go down the slide, it'll sound like this. <laughs> Can't say that. <laughs> uh, Rebus's kittens. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Just a wee road treat for Sherlock. That'll buy him a couple of. That well, will buy, buy a few. That won't will it? buy half a box of chicks, it which will. will last him about two weeks. Yes, so that's brilliant. Thank you so much for that. That means a lot. Thank you. Uh, Dave Greenwood. Evening, guys. Hope you're all well. Don't mind Colin giving Charlotte a smooch. Oh, that's all right then. How far behind are we? We are quite far behind, so I'm, I'm going to have a little. I'm going to have a little scan forwards. I'm going to put one on for Sean to read. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, people are talking about Sherlock, so we can people scan. Talking about Sherlock, we can scan Pe down. People there. are supporting Alfie. Yeah. Giving him a bit of. Go, you read that one, and I'll have a scan down. Stephanie, posh name, Victoria Pearson. Uh, can I just say a massive thank you to to you, Sammy. And Kevin for being a very special couple, and I appreciate them for being such lovely people and caring parents. That's Sammy and Kevin. Uh, Raheem, awesome. Uh, I would love to come and live with you two with my Doctor Who scarf. Well, we've got a spare bed. We have, haven't we? Although he sleeps in it most of the time. Some... <laughs> he has a combination. Of of like really bad snoring. It's not not al no. It's not alopecia. What am I thinking of? Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. It's not sleep. Well, it might be sleep apnea, but don't, don't tell know. us to go to the doctor because <clears throat> he's all right. I do have a device now which stops me snoring. An iron lung. An I <laughs> <laughs> and then on during the day we use it as a sideboard, don't we? Yes, we do. So I've got that, plus I have restless leg syndrome, don't so, I? Yeah, so he's snoring and kicking, and then sometimes he has dreams, and when he has dreams, he starts flapping about and going, ah, 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 don't you? Like Homer Simpson and his, and his, and his cobras. That's rare. That's rare. Mm. Uh, thank you, Ray. So thank you, Ray. All he did were offer to come and live with us with his Dr. Uskar. Yeah, his, I know. We've basically told him all his medical problems. I know. You haven't shown him your gammy toe if we yet. Get, though, if we you? get Raheem on a live chat, <coughs> excuse me, if we get Raheem on a live chat, he's going to have to wear that scarf. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, Catherine says Tony went down to Newcastle Whiskey Lounge last week and 21 tastings. Well, you had 21 tastings, didn't you? <laughs> the other and week. I'm not yes. talking about the Ukrainian lads' night out, <laughs> talking about the quiz night. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they found it funny. I didn't. <laughs> Have you ever tried Geraint? No, I'm not. I'm not the, na the neighbours said to me, well, at least you're a happy drunk. Mm. <laughs> uh, Nico's laughing at something. Alfie's laughing at something. They're all laughing now. at something. Uh, and Tammy. Uh, oh, I think it's the slide. Oh, yes, it's yeah, the slide. I think it's just, oh, my God, spat out the coffee. <laughs> uh, Alistair says Alfie should be a special guest. I think he should be a special guest on live chat. But I, I do. I actually I actually think he might be a little bit scared, so he's going to have to tell us. Whether... Yeah, you'll have to tell us if you want to be on a live chat, Alfie. Yeah. Andrea Adams, hello. Hello. Good evening, lovely fox. There's a little something for whatever you need to put it to. It's all for the wedding suite at the it moment. It is. It is cost, it's literally costing us an arm and a leg. I can't do the impression of me without with only one arm because I got into trouble last time I did it. Shall I show them the photo, though? No, no, because that is naughty. <laughs> I pretended I didn't have an arm and I got, no. in, I got into a lot of trouble. Uh, so thank you. That is going towards the wedding. Thank you. Uh, Kev the Brinklo Kayaker. Hello, Kev. Uh, here's... I just, I'm just refixing my teeth. Hi there from Kev the Brinklow Kayaker, the guy who you seen in Brinklow on his kayak. We know. <laughs> I told you, didn't he? He brought us treats. He and did you, bring us treats. You're talking disrespectfully brought, to him. He brought beer. He delivered stuff by kayak. He did. It was ace. We've got a photo up, somewhere. We've got we? a photo somewhere. He pulled up at the side of the boat and he gave us beer and stuff and all, didn't he? He was smashed really kind. His window, didn't hmm? he? he smashed his window. He smashed his window. No, he didn't. With his oar. <laughs> Are you in? Are you in? <laughs> uh, Tony's a happy drunk. Tony looks very happy though. We, we met Catherine and Tony a, a, a few days ago. Yes, we did. And, yes, we and, we had a we had a coffee and. Bacon sandwiches in uh, Dornock. Mm. Trish says, uh, Colin, you are a naughty boy. My cheeks are hurting from smiling. 
Your cheeks hurt, but it's not from smiling, <laughs> is it sometimes? You've got to behave. I have not got to behave. This is why people behave. watch. I haven't, I haven't said anything rude. <laughs> Yet. Uh, Vance of the Memories says, this is for you, this one, because it's about snoring. My husband has asked me to find out what the anti-snoring device is. Uh, it's for me. Apparently, I snore. I think it's himself, and he blames me. Email us, and I will email you back with the details of what I've got. Yeah. Yeah? So yeah. put our email address on. Email us there. Uh, just address it to me, and I will di and I will, I will reply to you tomorrow. It's basically like a mouth thing. I couldn't wear it. It's a mouth thing. You put it in, and it fixes into your teeth. You mould it to your teeth. What it does, it stops your bottom jaw falling back which is the sound that makes you snore, the muscles, and it holds it holds your jaw forward. It's really uncomfortable to start with. It, it took me about a week, two weeks to get used to it. But yeah, but I'll, I'll yeah, email me there and and I'll reply to you. Uh, Alfie, please reach out. Can't wait to meet you. Yay. Uh, Nico wants to be on a live chat. You could be on a live chat, Nico. Alfie says he'll be on a live chat, but he has to have a few drinks first and then see how he feels after. <laughs> Not a definite then, Alfie. I think I think he'd be a little bit nervous. I think honest. he'd be nerv too nervous, yeah. All these people are watching. Uh, Kaz Jakes, that's disgraceful. I'm not going to put that on screen. Uh, Liam H says, how much control will you have over the content of the new Amazon series? Uh, that's a good question, is that, Liam? They send me a, basically a catalogue, and the catalogue has got about 42 pages of you can't do this, you can't do that, you must do this, you must do that. So I have to read all the 40-odd pages and then make sure that the edit fits with all of those terms and rules. Yes. But then somebody physically watches it from Amazon... Uh, they have a load of automated stuff that checks all the captioning and the music to make sure we're not copying it from other people, all that kind of stuff. Uh, once it goes through the automated checks, uh, somebody will watch it and make sure that all those rules in that book have been adhered to. And then if that is okay, then they'll publish it. The whole thing can take from me actually... Uh, finishing the edits because i have to edit it from me finishing the edits and giving it to to amazon it can take three to five months before mm. they publish it so uh it's gonna it's gonna take a while but we start filming next month so yeah uh, we should have something on there by the end of the year <clears throat> at least it weren't your back doors that got smashed says tammy it's been a while hasn't it since somebody smashed your back doors it's been it? a while it has hasn't it does it heal up after a while <laughs> I, uh, no, I've, I've heard ladies in films talking about that. So, Matlock! Yeah. Hello uh, from Matlock! There you go. Uh, I emailed you last Sunday about YouTube and programmes, but haven't heard anything. I hope you can help me about this. Uh, we get a lot of emails. No, I think you have. I think you've replied to him. I saw it. We do get a lot of emails. Uh, and sometimes it can take about a week to reply. So if I have replied and you haven't got it, or you have just haven't received a reply, just copy and email it again, uh, and, and I'll keep an eye out for I it. Remember for see, I, remember that, I remember seeing it shaky. Hmm. Uh, to the loom and back, we went to Barnsley Market on Thursday and thought of you they were selling two packets of Jack Jaffa cakes for a quid. A pound. That's brilliant, that. A pound. That is brilliant. Uh, Andrea says it's a snooker ball in a sock. What's a snooker ball in a sock? I don't know, and we're not that far behind, so unless she's far behind, I don't know. Mm. I thought you'd given up the booze. Mm. Uh, Marie says, uh, read content on Amazon. Are you excited to read through and make sure everything is in line? You're detail-oriented, uh, so I can see that being a nice project. Uh I wouldn't say I'm excited reading through the rules. We're uh, excited to do the content. I'm excited to do the content. I actually, I have got a good memory. So I remember from the first time what we have to do and what we're not allowed to do. If you watch Britain by Narrowboats on Amazon Prime and then watch the vlogs on YouTube. You'll see they're completely different. <laughs> we look, we, we're like two angels. 
<laughs> we are. On Amazon, aren't we? There's none of this root stuff There's on there. not even a raised eyebrow, <laughs> no is there? No, is <laughs> It's complete. We're like nuns. Nuns with willies, aren't we? That's nuns what we're like. Nuns with willies. We're so well behaved yeah, it's on completely there. different to Foxes Afloat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it, it will be a good project. I've done it before, so I know what I'm doing. It's, it's time-consuming, but I don't mind the work. I've never minded the work. No, he, did, he yeah. It so, works every day. Mm. In fact, he has started taking days off now, haven't you? Mm -hmm. uh, Lady of the Trillium, do you know if your new Amazon series will be available worldwide or is mm. it just in Britain? Now, there's uh, a question. Okay, so it will initially... Britain by Narrowboat Series 1 was initially um, uh, the UK and America, uh, USA, Northern America, North America. Uh, we are still waiting... Believe it or not, and we submitted it just before Christmas, uh, just captions uh, for it to go to New Zealand, Australia, Canada, most of Europe, Central Europe, Japan, and somewhere else. Can't remember. Uh, and then the next lot, uh, which should be towards the back end of this year, last quarter of 2024. It will be to all those territories. So UK, North America, Canada, most of Central Europe, and Japan, and New Zealand and Australia, and yes. the the other one that I keep forgetting. Yeah, I think she's way behind. Are you talking about you or somebody else? I don't know if we've missed something here. <laughs> uh, Shake is re-emailed. Thank you for that. Uh, Raheem says, having a cuppa in my Doctor Who mug and watching you two together, best way to relax on a Saturday evening. Awesome. Uh, G Butt says, nuns with willies nearly spit my wife out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you think that means Chris? But it doesn't actually mean Chris. Hello, can we pre-order honey for this upcoming year's crop? No. Why? Because we don't know how much we're going to produce. That's right. There's actually no guarantee that we'll get any. Something yeah. catastrophic might happen. That's right, yes. They might all get lungworm or something. You don't know, do you? It's... Lungworm? Oh, you don't, you don't <laughs> know what's around the corner, do you? Yeah, um, that's the reason why, because we don't know how much crop we're going to get. Can bees get athlete's foot? <laughs> can you imagine them? All outside on the little platforms, rubbing powder. Rubbing cream in the toes. Yeah, rubbing cream in the toes and saying, right, I'm off now, Gert. <laughs> There's a nice big sunflower over there. So, yeah, unfortunately, uh, no, we can't do pre-order. Uh, Mrs. Lady Unicorn says, uh, thanks for putting up... Oh, this is for putting up with us and crazy lot. Just a lot. Thank you for cheering us all. That's... Thank you so much. You're welcome, Mrs. Unicorn. Thank you. Uh... P -p 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 right. Uh, what are you clicking? No, I'm just doing some clicking. Uh, totally agree with Raheem. Uh, what camera gear do you use, Foxes? What, as in, as in live chat or vlogs? For vlogs, we've got. It's not about, is it? No. It's it's. Is it Sony? Uh, yeah, it's a Sony camera, so there's, then, there's the drone and then there's... Yeah, the... there's, we've got a Sony video camera, uh, which does up to 4K. We've got uh, a drone, which is a... Uh, DJI Mavic Pro 3. Yeah. Uh, we also have iPhone. We use iPhone as well, because the other camera that we've got in here is iPhone. And it's better than this one. Isn't it? it is, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, much better. What else do we use? Oh, we've got some. We we use GoPros as well. Yep. Sorry, I'm I'm I'm, I'm you, you need to just be professional for a minute because I'm trying to do some. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the sort of stuff we use. Yep. Lee Ray says, hello, sorry, I, I, we, a couple of people were saying that we were fuzzy, so I was just checking the feed. Oh, is that what it was? And we're all right, yeah. Uh, hello, the Fox is just joining now, being out for a nice Italian with the family. You saw, you met a nice Italian in the co-op, didn't you? What was his name? Gio, what, Gio? There are no Italians up here. Gianelli, Gianelli, somewhere like that. <laughs> Cherry Jelly. 
I will be going for an Italian Limon, when I'm in London. Limoncelli? When know. I'm in London with Sue. Uh, I've got my big feet up in a bar of... No, I've got my feet up in a big bar of chocolate. My big feet up. <laughs> Watching you guys. <laughs> I'm from Birmingham. That's, Hello, Cameron. Uh, Cameron, hello to you. Uh, evening, guys. Oh, you both had a good week. Uh, I, yep. Uh, if I we remember actually... rightly, your two-year anniversary of living in Scotland was yesterday. No, it wasn't. No. Our two year of living in Scotland was last November. It was. Uh, y yesterday was the anniversary th that was the same amount of time that we lived on Silver Fox that we've lived in Scotland. That's right. Which is so you were nearly there. Two years and four months. Yes. There you go. Did you celebrate? Yes, we did actually. We had some uh, some 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 neighbours round. We had some friends round. I, I and was, we had a Chinese curry. I was trying to think of a nice way to describe them. So let's just call them friends. <laughs> uh, and we had a. They will be watching. And then we had a lovely Chinese supper, didn't we? <laughs> we did. And then gossiped about people. Yeah, gossiped about people, and Justin had quite a few whiskies. Justin did have quite. A few he had whiskies. quite a few whiskies. I'm glad he wasn't tattooing me last night. <laughs> after, after all he had those. quite a few whiskies. I wonder how his head is this morning. By the end of the night, he was going home with more of it on his clothes than in his belly. Yes, because he was oh. holding a glass of whiskey in his hand, and oh, oh no, Ollie leapt across the sofa. <laughs> Whiskey went everywhere, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, Kitty Cat says, does honey need to be tested? Can it be contaminated? Uh, makes it not suitable for consumption. There's a few ways. Yeah, we do, it does have to be tested. We do and, test it. And there's a few ways that it can be contaminated. Uh, excuse me. Go back to last year's vlogs and uh, look for... Sorry, I'm burping. Look for the honey vlogs and I explain all of that. Uh, how we test it. I even show testing it and, and everything that we need to do. Yes, we do. You got the burps. That's the lemonade. I've, I've got the burps from the lemonade. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nico says Fabio. Fabio. Uh, it was never fizzy on my. No, it, it's fine. It is absolutely fine. What can happen sometimes is that certain areas internet might slow down. So you might get a whole town or an area where their internet just drops a little bit and then comes back. And that's that's usually what it is. Uh, James, thank you. Hello, James, again. For our wedding funds. Woo! God, it just feels like it's never going to end, that, doesn't it? I know. It's the, not far away, though. It's The worst thing is, is that the beads are starting to wake up. When, when we get warm-ish, I mean, I say warm, 10 degrees at the moment. When we get warm days and sunny days with no wind, all the bees are starting to wake up and come Yeah, they're out. coming out now. And I'm, I'm not going to say shit in myself, because Sean won't like that, but I'm getting a bit scared. Because I need beehives and they're going to start swarming. Well, holding your hands up are not going to make them magically appear, are they? Well, you've got to show me how to make them and I'll make them. You're like a dad sometimes. sometimes I'm like a dad? Yeah, sometimes you really, like when you bring me chocolate, that's really nice. And when you do that, them, them things are really like you're nice. And then like, you're a laugh. A lot of the time you're a laugh as well. But then sometimes you've got this really like dad streak in you. <laughs> And you actually It's make... what comes with living Go on, pick, with get, the get... mind of a twelve year old. Well, there you go. <laughs> you made that choice. Uh, Ian wants to know if the train barn is still on the spectrum. It isn't, but I am. Uh, <laughs> Tammy says me and Mrs. Lady Unicorn are in Edinburgh next month. Yeah, you'll oh, love it. Edinburgh is beautiful lovely. city. It is lovely. Uh, Mark says, Have you been playing with your fuzzy felt today? Is that why you're fuzzy? Yes. It probably is, actually. Uh, James forgot the N in wedding. It said wedding, but I didn't Did point, he say wedding? I didn't point that out because he was being lovely by doing a super it was, chat. Yes. So I, I wasn't going I, I wasn't, I wasn't to do that. Uh, here we go, Sean. Evening, boys. This is Kevin Sue. Sue and Kev. Sue asking, has Sean have a packed yet? <laughs> I haven't packed yet, but I do have... Colin's going to hate me for this. I do now have two hip flasks <laughs> for the train. I know you've got two hip flasks. I <laughs> bought them both. Yeah, but you didn't know I was going to take them with me. You're not taking them both with I am. You. One oh. for me and one for Sue. It's not going to get off the track. You're going to wake up in Peterborough or somewhere like that. We're going nowhere near Peterborough. No, you will wake up in Peterborough. You will fall oh, you mean, asleep. Wait, you mean when I change at York, I'll miss York? You will fall asleep and you will just carry on and you'll be waking up in, <laughs> I don't know, Plymouth or Southampton. Me and Sue are going to see ABBA in London. It's exciting, isn't it, Sue? 
<laughs> Can't wait. I've seen them once, but they're brilliant. How's the new beehive? Can I, can I, my name on a beehive? Yes, you can have your name on a beehive. Uh, right, so uh, if you want beehive, right, right let's, I've, got, I've got some codes here somewhere and I'm not ready for them. So this is the code you have to scan if you want to adopt a beehive. Uh, so scan that QR code or there's, there's two ways of doing it. Right, normally, I hate doing this because it sounds like I'm going, please. You know, I could do with you sometimes. Please don't make me do that. I don't want to go to the doctors. <laughs> please do that to me. <laughs> No, there's, there's a different inclination. <laughs> the, the voice changes a little bit. It's like, oh, please do that. <laughs> it's laughing because it's true. Do you want to put your head behind that and then people can't see you blushing? There you go. Look. Your head's still shining a little bit. Oh, dear. Do you want some of my, uh, my anti-shine powder? It was recommended by cruising the cup. <laughs> Uh, are you all right now? I'm off. I'm down? fine now. Yeah. Right. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. Normally, we do adopt a beehive, which is that, and that uh, you either buy, like, get a share of it for a year, or or you get your own hive for a year or for for lifetime. That's how we normally do it. Uh, at the moment, I am so desperate for beehives that if you actually buy a hive outright, which is cheaper, you can adopt that for life. I think. I think so. I think that's fair enough, isn't it? I think so. There's yeah. a link in the video description uh, for uh, vouchers for the company that we use to buy them from, which is called Thorn. And they do a, a budget version. Normally, these hives are like 400 quid, mm -hmm. but they do a budget version, which is at half that price. And the only difference is, is the wood is a little bit B grade, so it's got some knots in it, but it's fine. So there's nothing wrong with it. And it's completely flat packed, so it takes me about an hour to build it. Sean, an hour to build it me an hour to build it. Uh, it takes so me it, about three hours to so build if, it. So if you buy one of those, I'm, I'm quite happy to kind of give you it for life, just to... I think so, yeah. We'll get you a little plaque. I think you need to change the website. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah. So you can either get like a voucher for, I think they're about 200 quid. Get a voucher for 200 quid. A, it's in the video description uh, for the BI. Or you can just adopt one. There's that That will take you straight to the website. Uh, where you can adopt one. So there's two ways of doing it. If you if you if if I'm bamboozling you, just email me, uh, yeah, and we'll uh, I can I can sort it out that way for you. Uh, right, let me get rid of that. Bye bye. Bye. Uh, Tina says. Tina says. Sean, can you come and finish cooking my curry? As it's been on hold because we have been drinking with you. Well, you should have just done it in a slow cooker earlier, only, and then it'd be ready. We've only had one. Yeah, we've only had one drink. I'm going down for another one in a bit. I'm loving you're doing more live blogs. I'm watching you with my newborn daughter, Daisy. Oh, congratulations. That's sweet, isn't it? Awesome. Uh, Judith says, hello, boys. I've been on the Swedish vodka again. Colin, don't feel responsible about the beef curtains. I watch... <laughs> I watched the Benny Dome clip, hilarious. <laughs> Sean likes beef curtains. Well, he doesn't like no. like them, but he likes the joke about them, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Madge on Benny Dome. Uh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Suzanne says, do you have colours you've chosen for your wedding? Yes. We do. And you're one of the people that will see them. Yes. <laughs> uh, James says, you're both so kind. We're actually not. We're just like really <laughs> mean normally. No, we're we? kind. Yeah, people walk past <clears throat> him in the street Pardon and me. he throws fingers at them, don't you? <laughs> not like chocolate fingers, like middle finger, don't you? <laughs> you could be careful. Sue's on. Uh, Brenda Nelson says, I saw a segment on CBS Sunday morning where they featured Rod Stewart. And he was a big model, and he has a big model train set. He does. He does, and we we know we know that we know a lot more about Rod Stewart, but we're not going to say anything because the boss is watching. <laughs> uh, Marie says, "Good question, Suzanne. Big fan." Uh, oh, Sue's with Colin. Sue, that ain't going to end well. Honestly, you will be Kev will be waiting for you at Liverpool Lime Street, and you'll be ringing him up. Saying, I'm in no, I'm not, no, I won't be drinking it on the way to Liverpool. I will be saving it for me and Sue on the way to London. 
All right, so yeah. So you'll both fall asleep on the train. So it'll be the Metropolitan Police that has to pick us up off the pavement. Yeah. (laughs) You'll be in Tower of London by Wednesday night. (laughs) Well, yeah. That's not going to end well. It's not going to end well, Sue. It is not going to end well. I hope you have a nice time, Sean. We're going to have an amazing time. Uh, Alfie says it's a cute bee on the QR code. It, it is. It is a cute bee. Shall we have another look at it? Where is it now? Uh, there we go. There he is. Oh, or she? It's modelled on Justin Bieber. Is it? Yeah. Has he got a big head as well? Yeah. Actually, no. He has. I've seen the photo. I shouldn't have asked. It is Should actually I? quite small in proportion to the rest of it. You know, because you've seen it. I think everybody's seen everybody's it, seen it. it. Everybody's seen it. It's a bit weird looking, actually, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it's a bit weird looking because like, the end of it's really small compared to the rest of it. My hubby is wondering what computer games you've both been playing. It is. It, we've both been playing because he's nosy. Right. I play... It's a game... It's, it's a pretty simple game, mine, because my brain won't cope with things, will it? The game I play is... Ro- it's, a, it's a PC or... Or it's a... You could, it, you he can plays it, it on his Mac and it's called... Rollercoaster Tycoon. There you go. Uh, I play. <laughs> no, it's not called Rollercoaster Tycoon. Ask Ask Sean a question. I can't, I'm going to go have a look. Cause I can't remember what it's called. That's the old version. I've got my gym jams on. People don't care. People don't care. Uh, I play a game called Warhawk. I used to play it in like 2010s. Ollie! I used to play it in 2010s. And I had to buy a PS3 so I could play it again. I can't get Ollie up because he'll wee because he gets excited. OT. OT. Come here. Come here. This way. Oh, invasion of the dogs. Invasion of the dogs. I'm not going to pet you because you will wee. But you are a good boy. You are a good boy. Please, please don't piddle. <laughs> He's not piddling. That's a good sign. People don't care. They just want to see the dogs. Go see Sean then. Go find Sean. <sighs> Shall we move on while he's doing that? He'll have for- By the time he comes back, he'll have forgotten what he went in there for. Uh, Colin, I know I don't always go to the doctors. Okay. Sorry. Here we go. He'll come back and say something like knitting needles. No, it's called Planet Coast. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Liam says, are we going to be getting any cooking videos from Sean in the future? Probably not. I make a mess when I'm cooking. We might be doing one soon about marmalade. We might be, yes. Because he makes marmalade for our honesty. If you're a Patreon or a YouTube member, you've probably seen that during the week. Yeah. Where he's been making marmalade for the honesty box. And we're thinking about actually selling that, like we sell the honey, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are, yes. So let us know. if you Do you, would, do you think we should sell marmalade? We do three... Well, he does three sorts I of marmalade. I do three sorts, yes. I it's do... Like th- two ways to Wormston, isn't two it? Two ways to Wormston. I do... Um, orange. Yeah. Marmalade. Well, yes, yeah, which is um, Seville orange marmalade. Yeah. And then I do St. Clement's, which is... If, think, think of the nursery rhyme. And I do shredless orange uh, North Face Wonder at Super Chat. Thank you. Woo-hoo, Hi, guys. Thank you. Lost my Springer Spaniel. Fudgy last year. Oh, but we're picking up our new Springer puppy next weekend. Oh, no. Oh, get good ready luck. for it. Get ready for chaos. I think you should do a special live from Inverness with an audience. Oh, can you imagine oh, us with an audience? God. That'd be mental, wouldn't it? I don't think we, we don't have that many viewers up here, do we? I think people would come up here, wouldn't they? Yeah, they probably would, yeah. yeah I think they actually would. Uh, hi from Ni- Niagara Falls in Ontario, Ooh. Canada. Hello. Uh, all the downs are here. Hello. Hello. Hello, Chris and Mary. Uh, Nico says, I've had a drink with Rod Stewart and Bradley Walsh in Essex. Have you? I'd love to have a drink with Bradley Walsh. I bet he's hilarious. Uh, Elizabeth says, can we have a look see Otis and Ollie? You think you just did. <laughs> I think you're falling behind. Uh, Nico says everybody's seen Bieber's Bell End. <gasps> she, I'm just reading what's on the screen. I'm right, aren't I? The end's very. Nico, s- you can't say that. The, it's not just me, is it? The end's very small compared to the rest of it. 
Uh, there I'm are flushing. Well, you need to get a life. Yeah, I tell you what, you're you're what sixty eight now. I will nip you. I will scream like a girl. <laughs> there are several variations of hive. Which is the most suitable? Uh, if you watch our high, our bee videos, I, th I think I answer that. There's one about uh, beginners beekeeping from last autumn when I talk about that. Uh, beekeepers will give you different answers. Uh, I use the National Hive because it's, it's the best for me, but the next beekeeper might use something else because it's the best for them. That's right. So uh, there you go. It all depends on the beekeeper. It does. Raheem says, what are you drinking tonight? I'm just coming to the end of a Johnny Walker and lemonade. Same here. I'm going to go get another one in a minute. Uh, Planet Ghoster, says Alfie. Yeah, that, yes, that's what it is, Alfie, yes. Mm. Uh, let's scan down a little bit because we're, we're only where the, the dogs came Alfie in. plays that game. Uh, it does, yeah. Uh, so Mrs. The, we're on about the marmalade. Mrs. Lady Unicorn says yes. Uh, Raheem would buy it. Uh, Nico would buy it. This is the point we tell them it's 500 quid a jar. Uh, Vance for the memory says yes to the marmalade. Uh, Kaz says you two are nearly as good looking as those cute bow wows. Dogs. Nearly. Dogs. Nearly. Just nearly. No, I agree with that. Just nearly. Although my junk smells better than, than theirs. Uh, what's your favourite fruit and food? Fruit. Favourite fruit and food? Uh, my favourite fruit is strawberry. Mm, it has to be strawberries. Yeah, it always is with cream. My um, favourite food is always curry. No, you just have to reword that question and the answer kind of answers itself. Sean's favourite food, isn't it? <laughs> Sean's favourite is food. Food you is just food, like food, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just food. Uh, Judith, is the marmalade cut? Thick cut. Thick cut, sorry. Uh, no, it's thin cut. Different vlog. Uh, marmalade with scotch in it. Here we go. No. We, we make something and people are trying to no. change it already. She she just wants to she just wants to, an excuse to be on the piss at seven o'clock on the she morning, doesn't she? That's right. What do you mean I'm doing too much? Uh, yes, definitely. Yes, I'd buy honey and marmalade. Shredless for the bambas. Yeah. Uh, Sue loves the marmalade. Yes. Hello, Sue. You do like it, don't you, Sue? My cousin Sue. Uh, Sharon says yes as well. Uh, Rhonda Davis, hello. Hello, Rhonda. Thank you for the soupy chat. Where have you been? Mwah. Can I have a little kiss? I've got a bit of sunburn on my nose. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I don't yeah. know how. So I haven't been. Not out been out. Soon. No. Uh, another one, obviously. Can honestly say marmalade has got. Oh, they know because they've had some. They had a selfie in front of our honesty box. They did. Yeah. There you go. Uh, can honestly say marmalade is gorgeous. Love your homemade marmalade. That's Reese. So he's had some as well. Has he? Or she? I can't Reese. see. It's the one with the big trophy in it. Yes. Don't you remember from last I week? I do remember, yes. Mm. I think that's a European Cup trophy, I think. I'm not sure. Is it? Um, what, are you, what are you laughing at, Nico? She's drunk. Also, also her. Alistair's laughing I think, as well. I think, I think Nico and Alistair are at the same party. I just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do chickens pass wind or do they lay air eggs? Oh, this is getting good now. I like these sorts of questions. If you know the anatomy of an animal, an egg and poop comes from a completely different place. Tell <laughs> them all animals. Tell them how old I was when I finally learned that women have three holes. Fifty-one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, oh. uh, the Adams, I must have led a shot at life. I've never seen any bee, but to be honest, I can't imagine you googling that as much as I would. <laughs> uh, it's out there, Tony. Uh, Mrs. Lady Unicorn, you can bog off 500 quid a jar. I'm not doing buy one, get one free. No. Get lost. No, it's worth more than that. We're not doing buy one, get one free. It would need diamonds and gold all up. Well, we could. It we, has. We, we, it has. It actually has. It has, it yes. Has. It's, it's, it's not real diamonds and gold, no. but it's there. It's encrusted in something. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we're not saying what. Uh, Fenella the Kettle Witch would buy it. <laughs> 
Uh, Pete says, "What's your go? To, what's your go-to foods and snacks while watching telly?" Chocolate. Yeah, mainly chocolate. I'm at mini eggs at the moment because you know that mini eggs come out on Boxing Day. They do. <laughs> they do. So I like mini eggs, and then they disappear on Easter Monday. Don't they? they? Do. That's, Easter that's Monday. It that's it. Gone. Gone till next time. And then I'm on Cadbury. It was just Cadbury, whatever. To be honest. Uh, do you put whiskey in your marmalade? No. Nope. That was that. I have normally it gives me time to kind of read on, so I, I can I can kind of I've, choose. No, the next I've question. never ever tried putting it in there. Uh, Sue and Kev says, "Cole, you should tell the viewers that Sean makes the absolute best curry." He yes, made, you know, don't you? Mate? He made one, mate. He's talking to me. No, I'm talking to Kev. I'll say you've never called me, mate. No, I'm talking to Kev. All right. Uh, he made me a curry today that was so nice. I had to leave about half of it. It was so rich, wasn't it? It was just so rich. It was a large portion as well. It was. It was. It weren't just curry though. It was a tan. It was. He makes this thing. Pasta. He makes this thing, and when I when I when I tell you what it is, you'll think Ooh. you'll think. Oh, show them your bum so that they get that the the no kind of the. What do you mean, show them the bum? No, that like you hole really close up. <laughs> <laughs> your cheeks are actually quite nice. <laughs> Just when you pull them apart and you see that glistening. Oh, good. Stop it. <laughs> I've forgotten where I'm going now. Tandoori pasta. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't go, uh. He makes this thing called, and, and we actually tried it in a in a restaurant in Tenerife oh, about 10, 12, 15 years ago. And it's like tandoori pasta. So it's like a tandoori sauce, a tandoori cream sauce with chicken, diced chicken breast. And then like, uh, what's the spirally pasta called? Fuzzy, fuzzyilly or something, fuzzyilly, yes. something like that. Yes, it's not pen. No, it's not pen pasta. No, I've got a pen there, and it's nothing like a pen. It's actually it's the twirly ones. Yeah. PSV transport systems. Come on, you dive, diversing. And it's really nice. That, that's that's where I was yeah, going. Yeah, it's basically it. all it is is curry paste, chicken, and a tub of cream, mm. double Sa cream. Sandra would buy the marmalade. Awesome. Yeah, uh, Alfie wants it on crumpets. On crumpets? I've yeah. never had it on crumpets. No. Uh, Maria's waiting for a double decker and a cup of Yorkshire tea. Keep waiting, brew your tea, and then three will come at once. They will. What the? Andy and Nicola from Stockport definitely get the get the get get the marmalade. Brilliant. Good. That's good, isn't it? I think we're sold out already before I've made it. Uh, Suzanne says, OK, where are the best restaurants in Inverness and is there a good curry there? We've never had a curry in Inverness. No, we think, haven't, have we? Suzanne, no. Where do we normally eat in Inverness? McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's and KFC. We don't go. We only go to Inverness maybe once a month, if that. And it's just a, a quick visit and back, isn't it? It's either for the hospital or the garden centre or B and Q, something that we haven't got all the way up here in the far north. So it's not often we go. So when we go, it's like we're having a McDonald's breakfast, aren't we? So we always time whatever it is, whether it's an eye appointment or an hospital appointment or whatever, we always time it just after the yeah. stop serving McDonald's breakfast. If we go to a restaurant, it's up here, up in the far north. Uh, Dorothy says, love marmalade. Uh, I'd add that to the honey order when that's allowed to go. Yes, we can now send honey to America. We can. Uh, we got our confirmation this week or last week. It got an email. I got an email from the FDA and I had literally shit myself because I thought, what have I done? And then it was a very nice email from a, a very nice man. But I can't remember a his very name. Nice, a very nice man in American customs, wasn't it? Yeah, and he said, you can, yes, you can do that. Everything's, all the things and, and, and things. Everything's been ticked. There you go. Sean's laugh is infectious. So is his athlete's foot, so just be I careful. I don't have athlete's foot. The jazzle jars, that's what we want. The jazzle jars? Yeah. Michelle, you can't... You can't have the jazzle jars because the j you can't. No, we're not putting that on jars. We're waiting for an explanation why, because I think it's a cracking idea. I'm not buying beef curds in a jar. What do you mean it'll smell like fish? <laughs> we could sell tuna. Then people wouldn't know, would they? Yeah. Does it smell like? Is it that sort of fish? Because <laughs> there's like there's like like mackerel in there. Like when you've I done don't know. You've been there. I've not. I been. don't 
No. You've been there. I've not. I was 16. And? <laughs> well, we don't know what fish it smells like. Oh, we, Michelle. We, we can't what a it. question. Uh, Maria says, I accidentally bought a marmalade shredder at auction. Oh, well, don't put our jars through it. That'll be a bit of a mess, won't it? <laughs> Honey and marmalade twin pack. We could do that. Arrows. Arrows are nice. Our ceiling used to look like an arrow. Oh, yeah. I told you that, didn't I? I said I'd lick it if it were brown and smelt like mint. Don't put that on. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> says, that's the memory. I've just had to educate my hubby on three holes. He's 53. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the oldest anymore. Yay. <laughs> I love it. Andrea loves Sean's laugh. <laughs> is it is that fusilli or fusilli? Fusilli. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. it I don't know. I mm. think it's fusilli. Uh, Charlotte says, Hi from Florida. Wondered if you will do a video tour of the wedding site you will be getting hitched up for those of us who cannot attend and why you chose the venue. Uh, okay, so... Ah, uh, this is a bit... Th this is going to get some dislikes, this. Uh, but no. We are... Some of the guests that are coming to the wedding, people who know us from YouTube and from social media, uh, because the wedding is costing us so much, we're asking the some of the people who have been invited, not close friends and family, but even some close friends and family, are kind of contributing towards the cost of the wedding. So we've come up with some wedding packages, like a whole day package uh, for people who want to come, uh, just an evening package, just for the evening, or a guest from afar, which is where you'll get like all the wedding uh, gallery, the photos and the video and everything. And books and all uh, sorts. But of... all these people are kind of contributing towards... Uh, the making of it all. The making of say. it and the, and the cost of it all. We're all kind of just clubbing together for the wedding. So we kind of... I keep saying kind of. So basically we're keeping that exclusive for the people who are supporting us and supporting the wedding. So they will get like access to all the wedding photos and the we're having videographers in we're not doing any vlogging on the day people no, are doing not. somebody's doing that for us and no it's not cruising the cut uh god can you imagine that as eds had been missing off most of it wouldn't it uh so yeah so that's how it's doing uh, if you want details on that then just go to the website foxesafloat.com and then click on shop uh, we will be posting some photos on social media after the wedding. Yeah. Afterwards, we will be posting some, so you'll get to see where it was and 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 things like that. But uh, the vast majority will just be for uh, for the people who are supporting us and 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 helping us that way. There you go. That, it's we're not mean for doing that, are we? No, I don't think we are. I, th I don't think we are. Uh, oh my God, fifty-one and women have three holes. There you go. <laughs> Uh, Kelvin tried putting marmalade on her cr on sorry on his crumpet and she wouldn't let me. Why not? No McDonald's. Oh, there we go. We've, oh well, we've, we've been you, told you're not coming to the wedding, then Suzanne, because that's what you're getting at the wedding. Yeah, if the caterer doesn't turn up, we've got a we've got a minibus on a run to McDonald's. <laughs> Raheem's back. He loves watching us two together. Thank you, mate. We want to be together. We want to be together. No, that's him off Little Britain, isn't it? Uh, Carol used to like a split and Holland's meat pie, a can of Vimto and a double decker. A split and Holland's? I had never heard no of that idea. company. No idea. I've never heard of that. No but idea. But I do like a meat pie. Mm. Yay, honey to the USA. Yes. Well, I know where we are now, so we're going to have to scan down a little bit. We are. Uh, blah, blah. We're just going we're gonna to scan down because we don't want to get too far behind. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Nico says, it's your choice to show the venue. Don't ever apologise. We understand completely. We're not, to be honest, we're not being super secretive about the venue. We were, but it got to a point where we've got to have security. So we've, we feel a bit better now because we've got security. But we're, yeah, not, so we're not kind of saying where it is, but we, we, we kind of... We have given clues. We have given clues. That's all you're getting. That's a clue. <sighs> who asked who to get married? 
uh, you were basically told what was going on, weren't you? That was that was it, really. Yeah, we were all. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, it was you, really, wasn't it? You says, "Shall we get married at Castle?" Don't say Dunrobin. No, we were not getting married there. Didn't you? He says, yeah. do you fancy getting married at Castle? In a vlog, a recent vlog, one, I asked Sean if there was... Because we were talking on a vlog about things we've done during his life. And we've done a lot. We're going to be searching through our vlogs now. And I asked Sean if there was anything that we hadn't done that he wants to do. And he said, no. And I said, "There's one. I've got one dream that I would like to do. I would like us to get married at... A, a certain castle and I'm not saying that's where we're getting married but I just said I would like to get married at this castle and uh, what? why is that funny and Sean made a joke about we'd never be able to afford that and, and he'll be working till he's 70 and it was kind of left at that on the vlog yes. and it was an unedited vlog there was nothing edited out of it the, the angles were different but there was nothing edited out of it at all uh, I can hear, can hear Sherlock I can hear Sherlock uh, so so it was kind of left but then I started making inquiries and it was like well if we do this and we do this and we sell this kidney the bad one and, and <laughs> do you know what I mean and take her house while the she, right leg take her house while she's away on holiday and sell it before she comes back and stuff like that we can well, afford to do it and that's that's how it happened wasn't it yeah sorry I'm just I'm just going on and on and on aren't I uh, Chris Passmore hi guys mode up at limb uh, Lancashire Ranger. I think it rained in Lim when we were there. I think it did. Nice chip shop in Lim. One yes, day, I think there was. Yeah. Uh, Lumen Back says I asked my partner this week, and he said yes. Woohoo! Oh, give him a round of applause. <laughs> Wait for the yes. Oh, he stopped saying it. Have you got a different one on? There? I think no. I think he's probably gone to one at Plastic Channels now. <laughs> plastic. Tell them, yeah. Uh, Alice Earl says it reminds me of that Simpsons episode when Principal Skinner went to Krusty Burger when he set fire to the kitchen. That's when Super Nintendo Chalmers was there, wasn't it? It is, yes. And he was having steamed hams and his kitchen caught fire and Super Nintendo Chalmers says your kitchen's on fire and Principal Skinner says it's not, it's the Northern Lights. <laughs> That's what he says, it's the Aurora Boreal. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte says thanks looks great maybe after the wedding you could do one on the history of the castle uh, maybe maybe it's your wedding I think you can be secretive I'm happy for you both thank you wedding venue looks great thank you congratulations to the Lumen back yes congratulations to the Lumen back tell you what I've got to do I've got to say a couple of thank yous I've got my notes can I here. get a drink while you do your thank you, yous you can do your, yeah you can do that Bring me a little bit of chocolate, but only a chocolate. Li little bit. Easter egg chocolate. Easter egg chocolate. Not mini egg, because I don't want to be crunching. Because okay. people, you don't want to hear me crunching, dear. I don't like. I don't. Oh, I can't be doing with people crunching food. Uh, right. So Darlene Harvey, uh, S G. I'm sorry. I'm going to pronounce this wrong. S G. Luperti Bohm and John Coates. Uh, you sent us some stuff from our Amazon wish list. Thank you so much. It was stuff for the chickens and stuff. And I think some chocolate fingers. But there you go. We'll not mention that, will we? Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, right, where are we? Comments, comments, comments. Uh, marmalade on crumpets. Even better than marmite. Marmite on crumpets? Oh, no, I don't know. Toast, yes. But not. I don't know about crumpets. Uh Excuse me, burping. Uh, Nico, congratulations to Lumen back. Also from Marie as well. And then Lumen back saying thank you. Uh, Suzanne says, if at some point you can do a drone view of the venue, after the fact, your fans deserve to see the gorgeous venue. It's stunning. We will... Right, I, I might have said this wrong. We will be showing you some stuff afterwards. Publicly, so some photos and the venue. We will be showing you stuff. We're not. It's not. We're not kind of hiding it all forever. There will be some photos and stuff like that. But the 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 majority of it will be just to start with anyway. Just just for the guests. There you go. Uh, Simon Bishop, are you releasing any more tickets for the wedding? Yes. Well, what we've been doing is there's actually not many. There's only a, a, just maybe just over a dozen, I think. 
uh, and we've been releasing one or two a week because when we first started talking about it, uh, some people want to do it, but they had to save up or they wanted to wait till payday or they wanted to check if they could get time off work or stuff like that. So we thought if we release them all at once, these people that are having to save or try and organise travel and accommodation and things like that are not going to get a chance. So we decided to do a couple, uh, one or two a week, or just as people inquired, uh, and that's how we've been doing it. So I'm just, let me just, sorry, because Sean's gone to get another drink. I just want to check when we last released any. Uh, okay, we last released one the day before yesterday. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll release a couple onto the website now. Uh, so that you can check them out. So uh, Simon, Simon was asking, are you releasing anymore? I have literally, I'm just doing it while I'm talking. So I'm going to bring them up on screen. There's three packages. So package one, I'm not going to leave all these on screen. That's pack, there's, there's package one and package two. There's three different packages, which is a whole day, uh, just evening and guest from afar, which is where you get a lot of the stuff from the ceremony and that, but just... Uh, just online. Uh, if you want to know about them, you can either scan that code there, or you can go to our website, which is foxesafloat.com forward slash shop, or foxesafloat.com, and then click on the shop tab. Uh, I've just literally released a couple more, so there's a couple on the website. If it shows out of stock, then it means we, we're going to be releasing them again uh, another couple next week. Uh, so if it's showing in stock, it means you can get them, you can order them. Uh, what we don't say on the website is the date and the venue. Uh, the date is in August, uh, so you'd have to be available for a weekend date in August this year. Uh, you'd have to get your own accommodation uh, or get your own way to and from the castle. If you stay in, in Inverness, which is near the venue, it's within an hour of Inverness, we're actually laying on a courtesy coach from the centre of Inverness to the venue on the morning of the wedding, and then it comes back again from the venue back into Inverness really late. It's about midnight, just after midnight. Uh, so we're laying that on for all guests that are staying in Inverness if you don't want to drive. If you want to drive, you can park at the so venue. It took so long I had to let the dogs out. That's all right. Some people were asking about the wedding, so I've just been talking about that. Uh, but all the details, Easter eggs, all the details are on the website. It's foxesafloat.com forward slash shop. <coughs> or you can scan that code. We're doing that, are we? I'm just, I've just been going through it, yeah. yeah. Uh, any questions, just ask us now in the chat or email us. Uh, the, the, the email address uh, is foxesafloat at gmail.com. Right. I think we're done with that. I'm gonna we're done with that. I'm going to take that off. There we go. And we're going to go back to it. So, uh, Cal says... You can real. You do realise all the marmalade you're going to have to make. Yes, I know. And it takes, it's time consuming, isn't it? <laughs> it's really time consuming. <clears throat> what not to do? Colin, why did you not cut, cut and pad around your door handle? Ah, right. I'm just eating. If Sean moves his head, that isn't the original handle. The original handle didn't allow for me to put a square around it. Uh, but we recently changed the handles because Ollie started to open them. Yeah, so we had to put knobs on instead so of handles. We changed them all to knobs instead of handles. <clears throat> so I've just not got around to doing it yet. That's all it is. Steve Fisher. Steve Fisher. Marmite on a crumpet with a poached egg on top. They were talking about marmite on crumpets. Yeah. As well I've as never had marmite on a crumpet. I've always had it on toast. As well as marmalade. That's what I said, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what I said to you. Wow. Oh, are you done? I'm done, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to get some crumpets now. Uh, Danielle says, I imagine that you'll be having too much on to deal with it, but if you will be reselling any last-minute cancellation ones, if it happens. Right, there's, there, there's no need because we're releasing them slowly. Uh, so if you, go to, if you go on the website uh, and have a look, at some point you will find them. If you really want a ticket and it's showing us out of stock on the website email me 
and I'll let you know when we're releasing them. They, I'm just looking at it now because I've just released a couple. Are they there, Sean? Yep. And there are there are there are two showing on the website at the moment, for which I'm releasing today. Uh, if you can't get them today, if they go out of stock, just let me know, and I can let you know when they come back in. Uh, but they will probably the way we're doing it, they we will be at the end of it by I think the end of this month, maybe the end of April, because then it will I be think April, yeah. Then it will have been three month. Uh, it will be three month. So so there you go. So I'm going to leave that on for a little bit. Yeah. Because uh, we've got to plan all the seating. Chris Passmore. So we're talking about uh, crumpets, Sean. Crumpets, butter, simple, nothing else. Why, why, why? Uh, yeah, I've always only ever had butter on my crumpet centre. Mm. Lots of it, because it drips right through. Mm. But I'm going to try my mite. I've never liked crumpets. Can I tell you a story? Yes. Do you mind? No. I know I know I might be babbling a little bit, but I can I tell you a story why I don't like crumpets. When I was a kid, about eight years old, I used to have really bad nightmares when I was a kid. Really bad nightmares. And uh, I, I used to have this recurring I used to have two recurring dreams. My bed, I used to the way I used to lay in my bed with my bedroom door open, I used to see the top of the stairs. And one of the recurring dreams was this monster that used to come up the stairs and then come in and get me. But the other one, and please don't laugh, was that I used to look out of my bedroom window and there was all holes in the sky. Like, really? Like a crumpet. It's weird what you dream when you're a kid though, isn't it? And I used to have that dream a lot and there was like loads of holes in the sky and it looked like a crumpet, but just like times 10 trillion. And it scared me that much and I never liked crumpets after that. Wow. That's there you weird. Go. It is weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So that's that's why... I like toast. I like butter on toast. You like my mate on toast. Mm. Uh, Catherine says, can you say hi to Tony? He's just walked in from work and off again shortly. He finishes at 10 and says, hi, guys. Hi, Tony. Hello, Tony. Hi, Tony. Have you been working hard? <laughs> uh, Alan Blant says, evening to both of you. Hello. Hi, Alan. Derek Phillips says, my girlfriend knows the venue, but she's not saying anything. Uh, Marie says, I like crumpets, but I struggle with Marmite. Any suggestions? Uh, is Vegemite the same as Marmite? Or no. is it Marmite and Vegemite are different things. Yeah, different things. How are they different? They're made from different things. All oh, right. Well, that was very explained. One. Marmite it? is yeast extract. Okay. Vegemite is vegetable extract. Okay. But it's still black and tastes like though, doesn't it? No, it's Vegemite's lovely. Do you think? Yeah. Uh, Simon Bishop says, uh, to, how have we gone to crumpets? Crumpets topped with garlic and cheese. Now that, if that was... That, on, that sounds nice. If, yeah, that, if, it would be if it weren't on crumpets. Are you going to do a couple while I eat some chocolate? I haven't got the clicker. I've got the clicker. Jade B, have you ever tried a grated, a grated cheese, banana and lettuce... You'd have to ask my sister because she used to uh, eat weird things like that. Mm. Yes, she did. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> I like this one. Karaoke blokey. My other half loves Marmite crumpets. She calls them bumpets. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Pancakes all the way. Oh, you like pancakes then, Assy? We missed Pancake Day this year, didn't we? Mm. Forgot all about it. Mm -hmm. Lee Ray says, a fried egg on top of a crumpet is a belter. I'm actually going to try that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I fancy a fried egg. Raheem says, uh, just bought foxes afloat hoodie, mug and pillow. Oh, nice one. Nice one, Raheem. Sleeping on a foxy pillow. It'll literally be like cheek to cheek with us. It will. Our, our, it's, our faces are not on it, please. No, it's bum cheeks. <laughs> It's faces on one side and bum cheeks on the other. What? With that little glistening spot in the middle. Glistening spot? Glistening. I thought you said listening. You can't listen through your bum hole. Can you hear stuff through your bum hole? Oh, we can all hear what comes God, out no. of it. No? A dead end again, innit? I try and make a, I try and make it funny and you just shut up. <laughs> Honey on crumpet. Yes. 
Why are we talking about crumpets all the time? I don't know. I, I don't know how we got on that. Chocolate spread on crum crumpets. Uh, Blackadder, I was... Uh, well, Bob says Blackadder. Once I was stood in the big cold schoolroom, a hot crumpet burning my chin. This is getting a little bit weird now. I googled holes in the sky in dreams, and apparently it means... What? It symbolises the unknown, <laughs> the void, and the potential for being consumed or lost. That makes sense. Mm. Does, that makes it? sense for you, doesn't it? it? Does, doesn't it? Dream may leave one feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or even fascinated by the mysteries of the universe. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I'm not. I'm not like Brian. Cox. Well, I think it's. The, I think it's the first sentence. Although I do like being consumed. Is that, is that where I think? Where I, I think it means no. being eaten. No. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's like it pulls faces. Whenever you say oh, that could be interpreted as it, it pulls faces. But if we're out in the co-op, his hands are everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> and not just over me either. See, you're laughing at that, aren't you? Because you know that's true. Uh, Sue says, "Lovely being." Let's get rid of that QR code now. Yes, that uh, can go now. Uh, Sue, so, no, no, we don't want another one. Get rid of it. <sighs> just hover over it and click X. You've got to say that word. What word? You know the word I mean. Well, say it then. I don't know what word you're talking about. You've got to say that. Whisper it to me. No, nope, still there. <laughs> if you hover over it, you get an X on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't know that. How, why didn't I know that? I thought you had to say... Yeah. Uh, Sue says, lovely being with you all. I have to go now. Enjoy the... Well, that, I mean, this message has been up quarter of an hour, so she's probably, she's probably already... gone. Yeah, she's probably already fast asleep. <laughs> but bye. <laughs> bye, though. Uh, uh, bacon and egg and cheese on crumpets. I'll tell you what I do like. that, that There's a cafe that we go to. Yes. Uh, and, and I'll tell you what it's called. Shall I? Yeah. It's called Milk and Honey, and it's in Dornock. Uh, which is 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 not 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 more than eighty or ninety miles from where we live, and they do this lovely uh, bagel bagel that has bacon and egg and cheese on it, and it's beautiful. Yeah. There's a bit of brown sauce on it, I like a bit of brown sauce, a bit of HP brown sauce. Uh, uh, veg Veginite is rank. I don't know whether Vegemite is, but I've that, never tried Veginite. No, I am. Uh, but 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 Derek likes bacon and cheese. Can we can we change the subject? Because I'm getting actually bored yeah, with I'm... it. I'm, I'm actually finding it difficult making it sound entertaining. Shall I? Shall I... Like, yeah. grand, like grand enough. Yeah. Simpsons. Raheem says, "Is it too early to ask what's in Colin's bin?" No, no, it's not. It's actually the perfect time. I think. <laughs> isn't it? Stop talking about chuffing crumpets. <laughs> Well, I ain't got a jingle sorted out yet. So he's, he's working on it. But Sean sang one earlier that was really good, didn't yeah. you? What's in Colin's bin? It sounded better in living room, to be honest. <laughs> uh, packet of mini eggs. Well, empty packet of mini I'm going through these like Sean goes through... What can I say that's not... Yeah, like Sean goes through whiskey at the moment. <laughs> uh... A pouch with with a bit of a plastic thing in it that I don't know. I literally don't know where it is. Uh, empty packet of chocolate fingers. <laughs> what? Somebody bought 17 boxes of chocolate fingers. And we had about 16 of them. And then we gave one to Food Bank just so that we didn't feel like totally <laughs> guilty, didn't we? Uh, <laughs> empty Rubik's Cube box. Empty Rubik's Cube box. I think the Rubik's Cube is in the back there somewhere, is it? It's, it's there. A, it's a, where's my finger? I can't see my it's, finger. It's there. I can't see my finger. Oh, there, there it is. There's my finger. And there's the Rubik's Cube. That actually looks like I'm touching the Rubik's Cube, but I'm not. It's about a metre away. Uh, but that's the box that it came in. It's actually a speed cube. Because it's supposed to be faster, obviously. I think that's it. Some old hair powder that I don't use anymore. It's actually quite boring this week. Would you like to have a... No. No? A letter. 
half a letter. Uh, Sizzling Simon E. Stick. <laughs> the tape measure is still in there from last week. I ain't got rid of that yet. Oh, that's wet. Why is the tape measure wet? I don't know. I think that's it. That poo bag's still in there. It's definitely have not... you emptied that bin since last week? No, I haven't. It's definitely not poo, because I would have been able to smell it by now, wouldn't I? Because it's been a week, hasn't it? There you go. That's what's in Colin's bin. Not much. Not much this week. Oh, as it gets closer to Easter, I think there'll be more Easter egg boxes in there, don't there you? There probably will be, and, yeah. And, Can I have a piece? A mini... Please. You didn't specify a size. <laughs> Hurry up, it's melting. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Can I have a piece of chocolate, please? Don't talk with your mouth open. It's disgusting. Really is disgusting. Scott Gibson wants a hoodie. Uh, go on the website, uh, video description. Just go in the video description of this vlog and there's a, a, a link to... Uh, to the merch site, it's all in there. Uh, right, I'm done. I am absolutely done. Done with crumpets. Absolutely. So, no, 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 no. That's a much better looking glass now, Sean. My sister bought us these glasses. They have engraved Highland Coos on them. They're really good. I have to read this one out because it's a super chat from Kelly McCurdy. That's that, that name rolls off the tongue, it doesn't does, it? It does, not it? Slow down, Augustus. Nutella on almost everything. Pancakes, French toast, English muffins. To can you hear him eating? From, from, I can hear him eating from here, so I'm sure they can. I'm going to mute you. There's a big fucking screen right in front of me where I can see you doing it. <laughs> Last piece. <laughs> I know I said no nothing about the wedding, but it's 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 a better view, isn't it? You got you got you got you got to admit that's a better view, isn't it? Uh, Kelly McCurdy, right? Nutella and almost everything. I do like I do like Nutella to be honest. Muffins, yes, toast. You do. I've never, I've never actually spread Nutella on my English muffin, though. Have you? <laughs> have you seen that reel where he's talking about it on that escalator? No. No, it's just it's disgusting. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, so you oh, say the lad that's on the phone. Yeah, mm, Marie yeah. says. So you say you pop down to Inverness maybe once a month. How often do you leave the Croft? Uh, not often. Well, we do, don't we? Yeah, we got we got a dawn. We I think at some point, most days, one of us is not here. At some point, mm -hmm. don't we? I think. I nip it. I pop into the village and all sorts of stuff. I, I took a lot of stuff down to the food bank the other day at the community centre, didn't I? And I think all she's going to. I think she's. I think we need to be careful. I think she's going to burgle us. Burglars. Yeah, I don't want to be burgled. A burgle. <laughs> Rich is going through a tub of mini donuts. Cadbury's cream egg melted on crumpet. I'm sick and tired of crumpet, but Cadbury's cream egg does sound nice, to be honest. Stop it now about crumpets. Alf is laughing at something. I think he's had his shandy. He's had his shandy. I think he's had his shandy. Uh, and, and I think Mrs. Lady Unicorn's looking through his caravan window, watching him drinking his shandy. Uh, Richard's still going through his tub of mini donuts. Uh, sharing your chocolate is a sign of true love. No, it's not because it I don't hurts. mind giving it him. It hurts him. No, you, that you lying cow. <laughs> <laughs> you lying cow. You know I give you my last piece of chocolate when you yes, haven't got it. Yes, I any. know, but it hurts you. It doesn't hurt me. What hurts me is listening to you eat it. And it's not just you. Do you know what I mean? It could be Jamie or any Lewis or anybody. If they were chewing that close to me to my head, it would irritate me. It would. I know it does. Alistair's still laughing. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you, you can, you can cry it off, honestly. I just... <laughs> 
Have you learned your lesson yet? Mm. Don't nod because people can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean so mean, Marshal? Right, here, fuck's sake. There you go. Don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> Karaoke Bloke says, if you come in a box, what kind of box would it be? You've been obscene. You've got to stop being obscene. There's nothing obscene about that question at <laughs> all. <laughs> Take it off the screen. I'm not taking it off the screen. Is that just going to civilise question? <laughs> If you come in a box, what kind of <laughs> would it be? Oh, dear me. Oh, God. Is that I don't know, then? Yeah. Are we, are we moving on? <laughs> you don't know what sort of box you'd come in. <laughs> Stop it. What? I'm just reading. Change the subject. <laughs> He doesn't know what sort of box he'd come in. Oh, my God. All right, then. Chris Passmore says, favourite Dad's Army character and why? Oh. Godfrey. Godfrey? Because he's slack. <laughs> uh, Bob says, wet tape measure. Who's been measuring things in the bath? And, and, and Charlotte's concerned about the wet tape measure as well. Uh are you all right? Are you sure? Do you want a moment? Oh, dear. Eh? Yeah. Uh, Charlotte's also concerned about the wet tape measure and the dodgy single sock. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's be precise. The, the dodgy single, quite stiff sock. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh just trying to I'm trying to read comments that don't contain the word crumpy I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna stop that uh, Scott Taylor says I've done nothing but laugh tonight uh, you both <laughs> you're both hilarious I don't know what he's watching I think the Brits are on aren't they? <laughs> uh, Alistair Alistair is laughing as well Sergeant Wilson wonderful wonderful what, I, I'm trying to answer it but then I'm thinking what are you asking the viewers or what are you asking us <laughs> I feel a bit silly answering them if you're asking if you're asking oh, other people other people in the room. Uh, I don't know what Kim's laughing. at. People are laughing. They're a, laughing at me. A chocolate box. Would you come in a chocolate box? <laughs> <laughs> Sean is turning purple. You all right? Sharon says it depends what type of box you want to come in. <laughs> oh dear. Cricket box. I don't know what a cricket box is actually. It's uh, what they've it's what they put over the to protect them. Alright, Sean, you're a lovely shade of red. Oh. Uh, Richard says a cracker box. A goth coffin shaped box. There you go. A telephone box. A telephone box. Have you ever come in a telephone box? <laughs> I know you have. Stop. I know you have. Uh, a coffin box. Sean's going to explode. He, he actually did in that <sighs> telephone box. Go on, Sean. Eat the lot. No, you're not. Uh, Raheem. Uh, loving, loving it. Thank you. Cheers, Raheem. Are you all right? I'm fine now. Are, yeah. you, are you sure you're all right? Just change the subject. Well, you didn't want to talk about crumpets, so they just wanted to talk about boxers. I can't think of anything less... Less weird than boxers. Uh, Chris has just been in his bin and found his last Rolo. Bit weird. Uh, if you could take one friend to a desert island, what island would that be? What island? Uh, is Isle of Dogs an island? 
I've never been there. <clears throat> What's there? I don't know. It's in London, isn't it? Mm. Britain's an island. Britain is an island. No, the UK. No, yeah, Britain. Mm. Maldives, an island in the Maldives. Hey, we got an answer. Yay. I do like the Maldives. <sighs> it's been a long time since we've been there. Uh, Wendy Bodel or Bodle? Bodle. Bodle. Hi, Colin and Sian. Sian. If you had to invite five people around for dinner, alive or dead, who would you invite? Uh, Co Colin, would one of them be Justin Bieber? It probably would be, yes, wouldn't it? I don't know, because he can be a bit mardy, can't he? I don't know. Yeah, apparently he can be a bit mardy. All oh, right. So I, I don't know. Five people? Yeah, five. Are we, right. Is that like five each or between us? I don't know. Can I have I, three I, then? I'd have, I'd have Jeff Lynn and Abba. There's four in Abba. You can't have that. It's five people. Yeah. All right, so four. But that, that means I can't invite anybody. Because there's only five people. Five alive. people each. All right, okay. Justin Bieber... Uh, Lewis. What? What? Carry on. Uh, I think that's it. You? Neil Tennant? No, not you really. Wouldn't? No. You? Chris Lowe? No. No? Really? No. Yeah. Not for dinner, no. Just the ones you fancy? I don't, I've never ever said, I've never said that I fancy them, ever. Have I? It doesn't have to, does it? <laughs> An island with wee who's. With wee who's? Yeah. I don't know what Alan Blunt's laughing at now. Uh, Colin would invite Alf. Oh, people telling me who David who had an invite now. Alf. We would invite Al Alfie. Alf is welcome here any time. He knows that. Mm. Oh, Sue says five each. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I'd give my three... I think I'd give my three spares to you, because... Would you? Yeah. Well, in that case, if I'm allowed to, and I would, if I could, two of them, I'd invite my mum and dad. Oh, oh yeah, because it says alive or dead, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. What was Stalin like? <laughs> Stalin! <laughs> oh. And Rasputin. The Boney M did a song about Rasputin, didn't they? Well, you can have my spare three. Spare three? Well, my yeah. mum and dad's coming. Right, and then I'll just come upstairs with Justin and Lewis. Okay, that's fine. Is that all right? <laughs> See, don't fancy them, does it? No, I'd be showing them my studio. Yeah, I yeah. know what you'd be showing them. That new mattress. <laughs> Is Lewis invited to the wedding? And if so, are you letting him bring his wife? I hope to God that Brenda Nelson... Is the alter ego is like another name for Lewis, and he actually does secretly watch us. <laughs> it actually wouldn't surprise me, would it? You? No, it wouldn't actually. Because would, I know how careful you have to be, Lewis, working for the BBC, that you're not allowed. Because he does follow us on Twitter. Because he does follow us. He do, if this is him, he does follow us on Twitter. He does. And is Brenda Nelson like an anagram of Lewis? L a. Uh, well, if that burr were a were, so L here we go. L E W. We'll just change the letters to make it make it that name. <laughs> uh, he he would be if we had his contact details, but to be honest, I think he'd just probably spend all day talking about football, which would be a bit boring. Yeah, because he's a sporty it? person, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know what wharf means. Wharf. What? What? Well, oh yeah, Canary Wharf. Yeah, Canary Wharf. Wharf. Yeah. Uh, hi from my house on Yousaf. Want to a character in Frozen? Isn't that the First Minister? No. Oh, yeah. No, that's him that sang Father and Son, isn't it? What's he called? Oh. Oh, Yusuf Islam. Yeah, what, Cat Stevens. Cat Stevens. Uh, with, hello, well done, lads, making us smile and laugh. Hello, Derek. Thank you. Maybe your spare guest could come in a box. <laughs> Annie says, good evening, just got home from work. How are you, Sean and Colin? <laughs> the people are trying to talk to you. People are trying to talk to me, but people are trying to make me laugh. We're good, thank you, Annie. 
Brenda says, I may have multiple personalities, but sadly, Lewis is not one of them. <laughs> well, do you know him? <laughs> she could. Brenda could be an intermediary. Oh, dear. Do you want to be my agent? Uh, if, yeah, because if she's our agent... We don't need an agent. No, listen to me. If, if, she, if Brenda is our agent, then she could write him a letter on headed paper. Yeah? That says, like, you are, you are invited to, to Colin and Sean's wedding. We could send somebody to pick him up. Alfie, you can pick him up, won't we? Couldn't he? It's a... It's a decent detour when it, detour when he comes up because you go right up the middle, don't you? Yeah, but the the, the it's that, about a thirty mile, sixty mile detour. No, if if, if, if well, yeah, because he might be coming up the east side. Well, Kevin Sue can pick him up then, because they'll be coming up that near Glasgow, and he he it's near Dumfries, isn't it, that he lives? Yeah. I'm pretending I don't know the street and and everything like that, but there you go. Uh, why didn't you move to Shetland? It have more wind and sheeps. Um, Shetland is a little bit far north. You may as well live in Norway because it's closer to Norway than it is here. Isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, we we looked we looked at Orkney, didn't we? We've looked at Orkney, and there's some beautiful places on Orkney. We just feel it's a little bit far north. Way too far. Yeah. It's an aeroplane far. Yeah. Congratulations on the new Amazon Prime TV project. Thank you. Uh, Chris and Mary Downs, we can't find your Amazon wish list. Can you tell us how to get it? In the description. In the, if you go down to the video description <laughs> or on the screen... Take a photo of that. Get your camera phone on that and it'll open it up on your phone. That's the Amazon wishlist. So if you want to buy a little bit... That's pieces, if you haven't got a flip phone. For, for, <laughs> for, for Sherlock and, 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 and people like that. Everything, yeah. Then uh, that's, 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 that's the way you can... I'm having a look to see if Sherlock's a little bit closer. While you're all buying stuff off the Amazon wishlist. No, it's still out there somewhere. No, that's the not live. That's not live. Oh, isn't it? Oh, all yeah. right. So there you go. That's the Amazon wishlist. Yeah, he's not, he's not there. That's the Amazon wish list. Oh, just readjusting. Uh, Were you sat on them? Yeah. Uh, Brenda Nelson. Why are you uh, laughing at Brenda? Laughing. She don't want to be our, 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 our what, what did I say she was going to be? Agent. Agent, yeah. Uh, oh, it's Olaf I was thinking of from Frozen, yeah. All oh, right. Uh, it was the US Air Force Base in UK Milden Hall. I've never heard of that. Must be a secret. Sean's gone quiet again. Yeah. Uh, Alfie says, I'm not a taxi driver. <laughs> yeah, he's growing a set, isn't he? Now? He's growing a set. <laughs> Will you be going down Neptune's staircase for Amazon? We can't say. That, that. No. I read that the Maldives may be underwater in about 75. It might be less than that. It the might way be less than that the way it's going, yeah. Yeah. Uh, who the frig is this Lewis you're volunteering us to pick up? Oh, right. <laughs> He's the sports presenter on BBC Scotland. He's looking for so He's looking for it now. Keep, so. Sue and Kessie, you can keep talking to him while I find yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Colin's got this little bit of a thing for him the he presents the sport and his sister presents the sport and when his sister presents the sport oh they're swearing they're real swearing where that is lewis why is she doing it i don't you no yes he does i know they're swearing i've never sworn and there's a tv program a news program on BBC Scotland called The Nine, which has just been cancelled now, which has upset Colin. Um, we only watch it when Lewis is on. That's the only time we watch it. Here we go. I've got to see if I can. Is it working? It's not actually working. Oh, it is working. We've just got to get rid of Amazon. Uh, da, 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 da. Hover over it. Who the frig is Lewis? That's Lewis. I mean, why don't we just leave him on there and go and have a, a snog? 
Shall we come back in five He's minutes? He's a married man. It don't matter. You're a married man. I, I just want to. I just want to give him a cuddle, and say that he does a good job, and that he looks better in in the nine studio light than he does. He does in the come main across studio. as a nice guy. Yeah, he really does. Can we leave him on for a no, bit No, we longer? can't get rid of it. Oh, so that's it who now. it is, Kevin Sue. <laughs> that's who it is. <laughs> it won't be happening, don't worry. <laughs> if you see him, if you see him, just tell him I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want more windy sheeps? Says Graham. Uh, well, we ain't got any sheeps. At the we ain't got any sheeps. We? we ain't got any sheeps, but there you go. Uh, my husband and I love watching you. Now that's how that's you write. A comment. That's a nice comment. It's, it's got punctuation. It's written properly. Yeah. There's capital letters. Yeah. Congratulate. In fact, you can. Thank have, you, John, you and your husband. Round of applause. That's good. That I like that. I li I really like that. Will you be able to keep doing the vlogs while you're filming for Amazon? Says Wendy. Uh, yes. We. Same as Britain by Narrowboat that went on Amazon. It literally is, it's not the same content. It's edited very differently because we have to behave ourselves. And there's a lot of content that is different that we do one for another. But because it's filmed at the same time, basically what happens is, how can I put it into context? When we used to do the boating vlogs, each 20, 30 minute vlog would have about, are you ready for this? 20 hours of footage that's how much footage that was edited down into a, a 30 minute vlog so it was reduced by a hundred times is it yeah, I don't know, yeah, like yeah easy uh so it will be the same principle it's what we've done it's tried and tested and we know how to do it so it's not going to be anything that we haven't done before it's exactly the same we're just going to film all the footage and then it will just be edited in different ways that's right one for amazon and one for YouTube. So yeah, it will be it will be both. Yeah. Telling the same story in two different ways. Yeah. Uh, Neil says, how did Sherlock come to be in captivity? He was born in yeah, captivity. He was born. It, uh, Sherlock's mum and dad were rescued from their owner died. And so they had to be taken uh, into the rescue center. And uh, Sherlock was born, his egg was born as he was taken in. So they couldn't stop the egg being born. She was already pregnant. Is that what you call it? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so when Sherlock, uh, when when Sherlock came out of his egg, he had to basically stay in captivity because he can't be released. There you go. That's it. Uh, we can't release him in this country anyway because he's not native to the yeah. UK. Yeah. Uh, Suzanne, Suzanne, Alfie, aren't you the designated driver for the wedding? He's, <laughs> he is becoming that, isn't he? Don't worry, Alfie. We, we kidding. You're not. We 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 joking. Uh, right. If you had moved to a small island, there would have been no escape from your stalkers. <laughs> They've got to get on the island first. <laughs> yeah. uh, will Lewis be covering the Olympics? Lewis does all the sport on, yeah. on, on BBC Scotland, usually on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but he's been doing Tuesdays for some reason. Yes, he has, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I'm he, not complaining about. He covers all the sport for the, you know, um, on, on the Scottish channels, on Scottish BBC channels. Get him off. I wish. <laughs> you walked right into that one. Oh, dear. Uh, Sue says, so he's Colin's eye candy. He is. I'll sort it. Yay. <laughs> oh, you can't see because I've got Lewis on screen. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Colin, uh, are you and Sean going to recreate the dirty dancing scene where Sean runs and you catch him and lift him in the air <laughs> for your wedding song? <laughs> My spine will literally <laughs> snap. God, can you imagine that? Can you that? imagine that? Oh, my God. Oh, it wouldn't be dear. pretty. Oh, dear me. Oh, that would not be pretty. Dexter Charles, this is an interesting one because this is not what you think. That's Dexter, right. Dexter Charles says, how did you create the name Foxes Afloat? Well, Foxes because our surname is Fox. Uh, and a float, most people think a float comes from because we are on a boat or we're on a boat. But a float, if you watch vlog number one, it says that it's the, I think it might be the final chance to save my mental health. And that's why we're making this change in lifestyle. And the whole point is <coughs> keeping life afloat, keeping my head above water, not drowning under all the kind of mental health anxieties and depression and everything. And because we had a boat, it kind of just fitted together. Yeah. And so when people say, why did you keep it when you moved off the boat? It's because it's still applicable. We moved to Scotland 
to the back of beyond, to the far north, beyond the Great Wall, as we now say, don't we? Yeah, beyond the Great Wall, as they say in Game of Thrones. If you watch Game of Thrones, imagine the Great Wall basically stretching down the Great Glen because anything that happens, nobody really takes any notice of anything beyond the Great Wall, do they? No, they don't. Uh, which we quite like. But again, it was, to, it was to help my mental health, so it's still kind of keeping afloat, keeping your head above water. Yeah, I like answering that one. Yeah. Uh, I think Kev's just laid an egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the Lumen Bat says, are you going on honeymoon? Uh, not as such, are we? But we, we are sort of doing stuff with vlogs, which will be sort of a mini break, won't it, mm. as well? Mm. That's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> we don't want to give too much away. Well, there's going to be... We, we are doing... We're doing some filming, aren't we? In the Great Glen. Uh, in the Great Glen, which will be around the time of the wedding. Uh, so... That I, I, we d I don't relax. Never. I don't like Never. relaxing. So if we have a honeymoon, I have to relax, and I wouldn't enjoy that. I'd rather do something and be active. So if we do some filming, go out on the Great Glen or one of the other waterways or one of the projects, even though it's kind of class as work because we're filming, I enjoy that. Yeah. So so it if he relaxes too much, his brain accelerates. Yeah, it does. Uh, how often does Lewis come on the box? I've never seen him before. Well, you've got to live in Scotland for a start. Yeah, yeah that's right. He's on BBC... Because he works on BBC Scotland, Scotland uh, on the news uh, on an evening, usually Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but it's sometimes different. Uh, BBC One Scotland. Follow him on Twitter. Uh, there you go, look. <laughs> and you can see he follows us. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to follow him... Uh, give him a follow. He is married and he's got a very lovely wife and they've been together for years and years and years. So there's Yes, no... the, the school school sweethearts, <coughs> weren't they? So there's no threat from me to her anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were school, school sweethearts. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Give him a follow on Twitter. There you go. Uh, Fox as a float name is such an inspiration. Thank you. Uh, what's better than a Saturday night with you two? Nothing. Nothing's better than us. I think that's probably what she means. There's nothing better than us. Uh, any plans to visit the Maldives again? Oh, I wish we had the money for the Maldives. We used yeah. to work out there, so we weren't like holiday. You know, it's, you know what I mean? We, we, we worked out there. We were so. scuba diver instructors out there. We were, yeah. Uh, I don't think... Go on, you take this one, because my voice is starting to go. I don't think you two wonderful human beings realise... The escape and enjoyment you bring to this world. Thank goodness this world has you both. Oh, that is so kind. That is awesome, isn't it? It is. Thank Love you. Love it. It is. He's look. I can see what he's doing now. He's looking for photos of us in the Maldives. Of when we were diving instructors. When we were diving instructors. <clears throat> so, no, we're not going to plan to visit the Maldives again. Judith, will you be wearing kilts? Inth. Inth. We can't say anything about the wedding, sorry. We, yeah, we're not giving anything away. <laughs> you want to see a photo of us working as diving instructors in the Maldives? You've got that evil look about you. I've there, got that you? evil look. It was a, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was being silly, weren't I? Yeah. But yeah, we were scuba diver instructors. God, we're so young there, aren't we? We were so young, yeah. Mental. Are you going to look for another one? Yeah. There's you. There's me. <laughs> that lady that you can see is called Barbara, and she is one of the nicest people you could ever meet. And she taught me all about underwater photography. Yeah, she's from Switzerland, isn't she? She Swiss. is a master at underwater photography, and she taught me loads of stuff and really inspired me. Into uh, into doing underwater photography. Shall we show you a few of my underwater photography shots? Mm. Uh, some of my favourite ones. Uh, so there's lots of moray eels. It's funny because we now live on the moray fur. Yeah, we do. But uh, yeah, that's one of Colin's um, f photos from underwater. You can see how clear the water is in the Maldives. It's absolutely crystal it clear. Basically, it's just like tap water. It's so clear. Yeah. Uh, me taking a photograph 
of Barbara. Of Barbara, my tutor, taking a photograph of me. <laughs> that was the camera setup we had. And it was such a bind because you had to kind of double check everything and make sure there was no leaks or anything. And every now and then one leaked and it destroyed a bit of, of something. Oh, that's a brilliant photo. Uh, this is a mantis shrimp. A mantis shrimp in his little hole. Hey, it looks like he's got metal eyes. They look like it does, yeah. metal rivets, don't they? The, the wildlife in the Maldives is so colourful. And we used to swim with uh, sharks and manta rays. Uh, that's a manta ray. Um, how, how big is that, Sean? Oh, that's, that's bigger than a car. Yeah, it's probably about wide it's probably about what four or five meters yeah the wingspan yeah it's it's yeah it's massive and all the bits that you can see in the water that's krill that's what they're feeding on that's why they're there that's why they're there that's uh it's them really close up uh yeah we had an amazing time out there didn't we yeah, loved it out there yeah ah Made it before you stopped for the night. Love your photos. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> pictures. Is Barbara coming to the way? We haven't spoken to Barbara for years. No, we, we haven't. We've, we've lost contact. Yeah, we did lose contact, which is unfortunate. Uh, great pictures. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Thank you both. Have a great time in London. I think you will. Me and Sue are going to have an awesome time. Yeah. Right. Let's do a couple more, and then we'll start to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, maybe you could do an underwater photography calendar. Oh, the, the photos are not that good a yeah. resolution. This is, I mean, this is going back how long? Two thousand and four, five, so nearly twenty years now. Yeah, and they, the, the, yeah, they're just the not, resolutions weren't as good as what they are now. Yeah, they're not not that good actually. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. How long were you out there for? Ooh, two years on and off. Yeah, excuse me, burping. Two years on and off. Yeah. You could drag it James. out while I'm talking. <laughs> James, brilliant. Love the underwater photography. Thank you. Thank you, Marie, as well. Right. Uh, we're doing this two two hours, ten minutes. So we, We've been on that long. We've been on that. Do you want to do a bit more or are we done? It's up to you. We can do a little bit longer if you want. Okay, then we'll do another two minutes. Write a book <laughs> on your life at the Maldives. Oh, God. I don't think we'd be allowed, actually. Cause... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time to feed the pups. Enjoyed. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it there. So let's just re get rid of Chris. That sounded wrong, didn't it? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, done, I think, for tonight. Thank you for yes, joining us. Brilliant. Uh, if you want details on the wedding, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, details are down in the video description. Same, we were talking about the beehives. If you want to adopt a beehive or want your name on it, details are down in the video description. Everything's down there in the video description. Uh, if you're watching this live and you've missed some of it and you want to watch it in full, uh, as soon as we finish the vlog, uh, give us five, ten, half an hour <laughs> and you'll be able to watch it from the beginning on YouTube again. Uh, but all the details are in the video description. Uh, we'll be back with maybe a vlog this coming week. Uh, if not, then there'll be the live next on Saturday. Saturday. Yes, and, live every Saturday. I think we're missing a week on Saturday because he's away. Yes, uh, but we're I'll back be in London. Back next Saturday, same time, seven o'clock. Uh, so whatever you're doing, till then, take care of yourself, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Ta -ra.